Excuse me. Oh, we are live? Like really, really alive? Like Roland? Okay, all right, guys. <laughs> well, welcome to the live way here at Fish North Georgia. We are live uh, at beautiful Lake Lanier up here at Laurel Park in Hall County, Georgia. And we're here today to cover day two of the Tour and Anglers Association's Cut Day, their pot tournament, as Alan likes to call it. And uh, got a lot of great things we're going to talk about for the next hour or so. And in about an hour, the boats are going to start rolling in and all these things. You're going to have to help me hold these papers. As you can see, it is windy. These anglers are going to have to deal with these conditions that were not existent yesterday. And um, so, but first thing I want to do, uh, I want to thank the volunteers uh, with the Touring Anglers Association for all their hard work behind the scenes, putting this tournament on and doing all the work that uh, is necessary for these kind of events. And I also want to thank JT. I thought I might give him a special shout out. JT and the crew here at Laurel Park with Hall County Parks and Rec. Uh, got to meet him today. He's a follower of the show. And uh, it was really good to get to talking to him and all the hard work, you know, that goes into a uh, tournament here. Anybody knows anything about Laurel Park? This is where all your major tournaments goes out of. They have the, uh, the biggest boat ramp that can handle all these big tournaments. So JT and the guys, thank you very much. And uh, going to do a quick shout out to our sponsors. Uh, normally on Tuesday and Thursday nights, you see all the products on the, uh, on the uh, desk, but we don't have that here today. But I want to thank uh, Sonar Pros, Trent Palmer and the guys, Kevin Underwood with Lipsticker Fishing, uh, Nathan and the guys over at Festive Waters, all right, Brock and them with Turner Tire, of course, Evolve Rod Sleeves, the best rod sleeve on the market, Mad Lure, is it Mad, is it, it's Mad Lure Retriever Saver. Mad Lure Retriever Mad Saver. Mad Lure Retriever Saver. And, uh, of course, you know, my favorite, Etowah Mead Beer and Wine. So, being in a county park, I could not bring any of those today, but we'll enjoy some of those later on this evening. So, guys, if, you, if you're joining us today about this tournament, this thing has been the talk of the bass fishing world here lately. It is not, let me go ahead and put this out, it is not a protest tournament against forward-facing sonar. Nothing of the sorts. All these guys, there's a lot of pros in this uh, event and they use forward facing sauna. This is what I would like to consider a throwback tournament. And we know a lot of you guys are wanting to see this kind of stuff, and we've got it right here before us. Um, it's 47 anglers, it's a good group of pros mixed with some local hammers. And I'm going to call off their names here in a little bit. We're going to kind of give shout outs to everybody. We're going to recap yesterday, tell you exactly uh, where they're standing, but you can kind of get you can hear the music in the background. Uh, got some good sunshine, but the weather is going to play a part in this. From yesterday, it had, it had almost perfect conditions, and I got Keith Pruitt here beside me. Uh, he's been on the live well, and I, he was here, and I said, hey, you're going to just jump right in today and talk. Uh, you know, and so he's, Teach him he, to show up. Teach him to show up. He's happy. And, of course, guys, you know Tim McGuire um, from our regular podcast. So a uh, couple things. Let's talk about what makes this tournament special. Several rules that are different from your average tournament. Again, we all know no forward-facing sonar, no mega 360, no existing waypoints, and also a two-week no practice period that led into this tournament. And, you know, we've talked a lot on the live well mm -hmm. about this drama surrounding, you know, forward-facing sonar and all that. But this is different, yep. something new. And, you know, what's your thoughts on it so far? You kind of were here yesterday for weigh-in. You know, what did you see? Uh, yesterday it was, uh, totally different than today. Uh, you had people wearing t-shirts and shorts. That's right. Now we're wearing sweaters and, uh, but the guys still brought in good sacks and, uh, it didn't matter really. I mean, it's just it, the time of year it's focused on and how the quality of the anglers. That's right. That's you're, right. You're good to go. Uh, Joey Sefuentes was putting on, you know, he streamed from his uh, boat yesterday and he was in his cowboy hat and his flip flops. And last time we checked, he was in the coveralls with a cow with a, a ball cap on. About and, three layers. Yeah, yeah, about three layers. So the wind, you know, overnight we had a front come through, a little bit of rain, and it knocked probably some of the pollen off the water. But the wind has picked up a lot. And if you know anything about Lake Lanier, when it gets windy, it gets windy. So Bed fishing kind of came into play yesterday. A lot of people thought this might be a, a bed fishing tournament, but looking to some of the weights and talking to some of the people and following their socials, spotted bass were in there. And I think today these guys are going to have a little bit different time trying to locate these largemouth on bed. And I, I think we'll probably see a lot more spotted bass weighed in today. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely like that. So, um, again, 
day one, the weight's kind of shocked us. I know coming into this, the social media was like, number one, a local angler is going to win it. And a local angler is not in the lead. There are a few local anglers in the top 10. Uh, also, everybody said because of the date, because April, you know, the first week of April is going to be a total bed fish uh, tournament. That's not the case. I know that I was on the lake just a week and a half ago. I didn't see any fish on bed. You fished this past Saturday. Nothing. Nothing. And yeah. so it seemed like all the conditions were right for these largemouth to just boom up all of a sudden and get on the bed. And if you know anything about Lake Lanier, and I'll put this against any of the California boys out there, Lake Lanier is the premier spotted bass destination in the nation. They showed up yesterday. Now, you witnessed. here doing this just wanting this kind of tournament one of the thoughts is that these young guys these this next breed of angler they're not going to be able to compete without forward facing sonar that's all they've known and i can tell you right now just looking at the weights uh they didn't have any problem no they didn't have really any did. problem at all so it, it was is. pretty much even across the board i mean there there's a lot of guys that are one fish away yeah yeah so that's it yeah, and I'm going to give you the uh, the top 10 here in just a minute. And actually what I'm going to do, and this is something I want to do, I'm going to read you out the field and give you their weights just because I think it's something to be commendable to these guys to actually jump into this first tournament like this. I know a lot of people were very hesitant. It's never been done. They uh, didn't exactly want to jump in because they didn't know if the tournament was actually even going to happen. And so it is happening. I know that Allen and the Touring Anglers – you know, they wanted to make a big splash with 200 boats, a uh, huge payout. And uh, that didn't happen, but I think it didn't happen because it's something new. And anytime we do something different, something new, people are just real, real kind of, they're slow to jump on board. Yeah. So I want to, I want to read out these anglers uh, in no particular order. In fact, I'm going to do it when I read it, I'm going to do it in the order that their uh, boat number was yesterday. And then we'll go back and talk about the top 10. But I want to give these guys a shout out just for taking the risk, uh, paying the five thousand um, dollar entry fee, and uh, doing it. So um, Daryl Strayhorn, he had eighteen fifty four yesterday. William Fletcher, twenty pounds thirty seven ounces. John Cox, you guys all know that name, sixteen eighty eight. Gussie, Gussie was here eighteen oh five yesterday. Local angler Paul Marks Jr. nineteen oh two. Andy Morgan eighteen oh three. Corey Johnston. Uh, 1816. Travin Moore, I don't have a weight for him. Kaz Anderson, 1675. Maddox Walters, 1441. Paul Driscoll, local handler, 1737. Danny Hall, and I might just go down the list. Danny Hall, Christopher Johnston, Paul Marks Sr., Shane Peck, Colwood, and Mill Wagner. Of course, he's sitting right now in the top five. Brandon Polinick, that's a name you guys know. Sam Benson, Ron Farrow, Alan Armour, Sam George. Uh, Brooks Anderson, Jason Johnson, Hank Cherry, Austin Young, Joey Sefuentes, Alan Brooks, Mark Harden, Trent Palmer. Uh, this next page here is Ricky Robinson, JT, uh, J. Todd Tucker, Jared Lintner, Rob Jordan, Randy Dover, Danny Kirk, Jason Menninger, Drew Cook, Tyler Brooks, Jimmy Millsaps, Joey Eubanks, David Williams, Robert Chancey, Mike Morris, Keith Carson, Jesse Millsaps, and, of course, FBD, James Watson right there. 
and I just wanted to at least have their names recognized. I know a lot of you guys are following the standings, and uh, you see it. You see those names. But to be able to be a part of the very first one of these uh, tournaments, this type of tournament with the Turing Anglers Association, I think it took a lot of guts, uh, especially when you're putting up your own money, right? You know I mean? Oh, yeah. this, this is I, – I don't think any sponsors – Probably very few even paid for their anglers to be here. Yeah, and it, a lot of these guys have not even been on this like in years. Exactly, exactly. So, so it took a lot of guts to jump in this. But the cool thing about this tournament, man, it's fun. This is a fun thing. There is no pressure. There's no points race going on. Guys just show up. They fish. It's mono a mono. Do what we can do. And just at the end of the day, let's lay it on there. Now, at the end of the day today, the final 12, the final 12 are moving to tomorrow. And, again, we're going to be here at Fish North Georgia and Live Well. Same time tomorrow. We're going to be um, covering that. And if we're lucky today and things work out right, once they announce the final 12, you guys hang around because I think we're going to be able to get an interview with pretty much everyone. See how today compared to yesterday. So um, you guys can see the wind is just whipping right now. And if you've ever been on Lake Lanier, especially down south, absolutely. Oh, you get down south, it's crazy. So, any any comments or questions while I'm sitting here? Uh, just everybody doing a what's up. That's right. We're having a little technical issues, but the wind is whaling. The guys are doing an awesome job getting everything up and running. We got the uh, Fish North Georgia Rolling podcast set up out here. Yeah. So what, what kind of technical issues we got going on right it now? It was a little choppy, blurry. It may have been the satellite link. The satellite link. So what we're doing, we got a Starlink system. And uh, hopefully that is has uh, been fixed. We I good think on we've the got satellite it there, Josh? We good with the satellite now? Okay, yeah. so we got it all. Guys, we're going to be here a while. You guys let us know if it starts acting wumpy. We got guys here to fix it. Yeah, and the thing about it is with the wind, man, I'm telling yeah. you. I'm surprised you guys can even hear us in these mics. So we're, we're about 200 yards from Whitecaps. We are 200 <laughs> yards from Whitecaps right now. Yeah, we're literally watching and roll, <laughs> almost rollers out there. All these rollers, yeah, for sure. So, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to talk, you know, kind of about the lake and the tournament from yesterday. Uh, these guys are going to start rolling in about 3:30, and then we're going to switch cameras. We're going to have a camera dead on the uh, the way in, and we're going to just sit here and commentate a little bit. Let's go over the top 10. All right, the top 10 from yesterday, and get your thoughts a little bit. Right. I'm going to start with 10. Let's work our okay. way up. Let's go backwards. Actually, the top 12. Okay. Because this is the cut. Now, 12th place is Alan Armour with 19 pounds even. And we've kind of, as a group, established what our thoughts are as the cut line for today. Um, and we, we came up pretty close. I said, let's double the weight for 12 minus 2 pounds because of the weather changing conditions. So, Right at 36 pounds is kind yeah. of 36, 37 right in there. I think that's what they're going to have to have to make it to the Mars. So Alan Armour currently is sitting there in 12th place. And then we've got a local guy. We all know this guy's name, Paul Marks Jr. Uh, a pick for many to win this because, oh, yeah. because he yeah. grew up on this lake. Yeah, uh, He's sitting there with 1902 and 11th. 10th place is Shane Peck with 1933. Again, guys, hey, listen, I know a lot of people said, hey, these weights are going to be down because they're not using their sonar and all that. This is um, – these are late Lanier weights, man. Yeah. I mean, definitely. we see this every Saturday. Yeah, when you look at the weights, they're literally – you go from first to top 12. Yeah. One, one maybe two fish out. And actually, you and go down it. probably like the, down to 20th place. Yeah. You know, it's, it's packed. One big – the big fish right now, and we'll get to that because that guy's in the top 10 here. So, 10th place is Shane Peck with 1933. Ninth place, David Williams, 19.45. And, again, listen to how close all these weights are, guys. Um, eighth place, William Fletcher, MPFL Pro, 20 pounds, 20.37, 20.37. Keith Carson, a well-known name, 20.53. Drew Cook, 20.74 is in six. Jimmy Millsaps, kind of a local legend around here. He's in fifth place with 20.93. So, right there, eighth through fifth. They're only separated by a point, what, point four? Yeah. You know, point four of a pound. Fourth place is Emil Wagner, a pick for many. Um, guys, he he's, he is an up and cut. Him and Paul Marks Jr., I expect them, they'll be fishing pros. They're Absolutely. Fishing. They're, they're, they're hammers. Absolutely. Uh, another guy that we know around here in Lake Lanier, Rob Jordan, 21.07. Emil had 21.0. Again, tight. Now, these two names, though, because everybody said it's going to be locals, locals, locals. Yep. Well, in second place right now is Jared Lintner, 
24.73. And he had big fish yesterday. Yeah. And it was seven pounds. Yeah, it was a they had it marked. I had it on market. I think it was seven four. Something like that. It was a large mouth though, right? Yeah. So like that. And then a name from uh Canada. 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 (laughs) Canada. Christopher Johnson, 24.75 yesterday, day one. And folks. That's without forward-facing sonar. Yeah. It can be done. It can be done. And I, I do realize that. It has been done. It has been done. Bed fishing did come to play with a lot of these guys yesterday. But guys like Emil, I saw his social media. He wasn't bed fishing yesterday. He brought in all uh-huh. spotted bass. Yeah. And for those that don't know, generally, largemouth kind of move up a little bit sooner and a lot more shallow than a spotted bass. Spotted bass will bed out to 15 foot of water. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's what we're actually seeing today with Joey. Yeah, he slid out a little bit throwing a Carolina rig. Yeah, and he just went back to the way he used to do it. And he's just he had what he had 19 and a half pounds by 10 30 this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. so it's, he's killing uh, it. These guys know what they're doing, and that, that's the big thing. Uh, you talk, you talk 24 pounds on a tournament anywhere, maybe not in Texas, yeah. maybe not in Texas, but anywhere <laughs> that is a sack. But just you, right you here, got like five or six different ways those guys, anything from you heard yesterday, jerk bait. Uh, you guys throwing shaky head, like the little minnows, right. Carolina rigging. I mean, they're doing right now is the time to be on Lanier. Oh, it is. It, unless you're me. So, yeah. <laughs> unless you're me. So, um, but let, check this out. So this is the competitiveness of this, of this tournament. First and second point zero two. That's all it separates them. And then from third to eighth, it's less than a pound. Less than a pound, and then from ninth to twelfth, again less than a pound. So, five point seven five pounds is from first to twelfth. That's one kicker fish. That is tight. Yeah. And again, we're just talking about the top twelve. If I if I start looking at these, um, you got guys like Paul Driscoll with seventeen three five. Gussie's got eighteen oh five. I mean, uh, Daryl Strayhorn, another local, right here, eighteen point five four. Guys are right in the mix. Just getting that right fish. And if one of these top guys falters just a little bit, yep. it can make all the difference in the world. Yeah. You got a good mix of when you look at the rankings, uh, local, MPFL, bass, whatever it is, it's all blended in there. Yeah. And this is fair game for anybody. Yeah. And so for guys that don't know Lake Lanier, it's 38,000 acres. Again, you've heard me say it's spotted bass capital of the world. Uh, but it's got a little bit – this time of year, you can fish any way you want to. Oh, yeah. You can hit the rocks. You can you can hit the spawning flats. You probably still could go deep in timber if you, if you were able to do that and locate fish with traditional sonar. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, if either one of you guys were on the water today, what would you be doing, Tim? I would probably be working the 12 to 15-foot range. Going for spots? Going for spots. And how would you target them? Probably the dragon worm. Just old shaky head. That's old shaky head or maybe Carolina rig in this kind of yeah. conditions. All right, what about you? After Saturday? Yeah. Because um, you fished the lake Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> He's been on the lake uh, as soon as uh, I'm, I, I'm I, interested I to say, hear this uh, myself. It, you're going to have about five or six rods on the front, and you're going to throw a jerk bait out in that wind. You're going to find a little, like, Joey's found the saddle where he's Carolina rigging. And he's being very, very patient, but he slid out. So if you go over to that bank right over there, you don't see him like bedding right up on the bank. They're actually out a little further. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Could you tell what he was catching? Was it more spots? More than, spots. He's so down he, south. He's down yeah. south. So you think the guys that are hanging up north, they're largemouth hunting. They're, they're, looking they're, for that they're going bucket. for the big one. Oh, they're going yeah. For the big and then talking one. to locals yesterday that showed up, they're, they were seeing spawning fish around boat docks and stuff that just wasn't, you know, just a little further out. That's all it is. Really? So not not right yeah. up on the on yeah. the shore. Where I went, my I went six foot or less and looking around. And I tried with no live scope. I just I, you I did, tried, yeah. You tried. I did, me I did, I did, I did a, a Saturday test, no live scope, no nothing, just cover ground. And I finally just went back out to the main lake in the shoal markers, throw a jerk bait across there, and I got two decent ones. And then I broke three off on a shaky head. Yeah. I yeah. mean, cover the water uh, column, and, and start up top, yeah. work your way down. But th- those fish were, you know, they were in that 15 foot range, 10, 15 foot, just sitting there. Okay. All and right. uh, so, it was, so they're smart enough. They ain't going to be there where you can see them, but they're going to be just out. Shade lines, color lines. Get enough sun and do their thing. So you were watching the way in yesterday. And, you know, again, I mentioned it earlier. The common saying in these days is these young anglers coming up. 
cannot catch fish without forward facing sonar. So what did you see among you know you know a lot of these local young anglers? What did you see happen? Um, the, the local guys just kind of proved that they they know rather, rather they all their waypoints got cleared. Yeah. So just on experience alone of what how that fish reacts and how it moves this time of year, um, it was impressive just to see the local mix with the national guys that hadn't been on the lake in years. Right, bringing in consistent weights. But the cool thing is, that once you get to the pro level, yeah, you can fish. Yeah, you don't make it to the pro level without being able to be versatile. Yeah, and be able to fish. Yeah, the trick all day will types. be do do the local guys. Now our local guys in here, they they got all the experience in the world, but the pros really know how to stretch things out three or four days. That's so right. you got Drew Cook, best sight fisherman in my opinion in the world. And literally, he can see something and say, I'm going to wait for tomorrow on that one. And he, he knows how to save his spots and his fish. And uh, th these guys are smart. So, Drew Cook, yeah, so 20.74 yesterday. Yeah. Um, you know, you got Hank Cherry right there at 1604. Yeah. Again, that's if, if one of the guys in the top 12 falters. Yeah. Say they, instead of bringing in 19, they have a day where they only bring in 14, 15. You get these guys. There could be some mixing up right there in the top twelve. Yeah, uh, the, definitely. Like on a day like today, where stuff's blowing yeah, over this here. wind. <laughs> this wind is something else. Y'all can't see crazy. it right now. And, but it's just uh, rough. Literally, uh, today is a perfect day for somebody like Hank throw, loves throwing a jerk bait in the wind. Yeah, now I, but, saw, I saw Joey Suentes. He was throwing a jerk bait a little bit. Yeah, to start off with. But you get the guys that depend on offshore brush piles out in that wind. It's going to change it up a little bit. Yeah. And can they? Because it, it, today is not your standard breeze. <laughs> no, it's not. So I would say we're getting gusts up 20, 25 every yeah. once in a while. Um, and Easily. So here's what's going to be really interesting going into tomorrow. So the rain came through last night. The front's coming through, I would say, right now with all the wind. We're still sitting. Yesterday was what? Was it 80? Did it get 80 here? Yeah, it, okay, was, so it was right 78-ish. 78-ish, right like around that. 80 degrees. Today, it's a little bit cooler yeah. with the wind, but tomorrow, tomorrow is supposed to be in the 50s, the upper 50s, low 60s. So we're going to have almost a 20-degree swing in temperatures over three days. Yeah. That's going to change it completely. Yeah, tomorrow is uh, three layers of clothes going down the lake. Yeah, absolutely, because it's like, it, it this like gets cold yeah. when you're going down there. So I'm really looking forward, once the guys start coming in, just to see uh, what they're bringing in and – I know many of you guys might know the name Jason Johnson. He fished FLW a few years back. He is a local hammer, great guy. He posted on his Facebook page last night a picture of a largemouth bass. And the reason I say this is a lot of guys thought this is going to be a spot tournament. The bass hadn't moved up. Yeah. And then he, put, he said, this is a largemouth bass. And all of a sudden, they showed up yesterday. But will this cold weather knock them back? Uh, when, once they're up and committed – uh, I, but, think, I think they're I think they'll stay. They're you in think, the bed to do the thing. You think they're there? Yeah. So maybe uh, we'll see what these guys have. I'm just real curious. Uh, seven four largemouth is no joke. No, nope. definitely no joke on the near. But I think it's the guys that can put the four and five pound spots for three days in a row. I still personally feel spotted bass are going to win. What about you? And I could oh, be totally overall, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Overall, I think it's going to be a this, yeah. This well, the quality of spots the in this lane, no doubt. And uh, the, there, there are guys literally today targeting four plus fish. Yeah, four plus. And and listen, any any given Saturday on Lake Lanier, I know Scott Barnes runs a, a trail out of Little Hall, fishes once or twice a month or something like that. If you don't show up with twenty plus, you might as well just put your fish back. Just, the spot, but those are almost always spots. Yeah, spotted yeah. bass, and it's the guys that can do the four, the five pound spotted bass consistently. For, for Scott's deal, have fun and learn. Have fun and learn. If you're like us, you <laughs> and show and up. Keep, keep fighting and, and keep learning. You donate your money and all that. But it's going to be very interesting. Um, but I really want to know moving forward, you know, what do you guys think about a trail like this? Again, now, Alan's been on our podcast. Alan Brooks has been on our podcast. And he, he's, the, he's the mastermind behind this several times again. And he's always said, hey, we're not trying to replace BASS, MLF. This is more of a supplemental type tournament where guys – can come in more like a pot tournament. It's 100% payback with the exception of they, they spend a little money on the guys 
to come down and do the weigh-ins and stuff. But other than that, every dime goes right back into the anglers' yeah. uh, pockets. Uh, going forward, you know, what do you, how do you think something like this will fit in uh, with the schedules of BASS and MLF? Well, I think Alan's all, you know, he said all along, he's not looking to have any conflicts with schedules and stuff right. like that. So this one was unique just to kind of kick it off. And, but, um, you know, moving forward, it's going to be uh, a, a great thing just to get back to the way you used to fish. Yeah. And then it's going to be interesting to see how people adapt during different times of year. Right. With, with like fall, if they go somewhere nearby or something like that, or somewhere in the Midwest. Um, now you got the fall turnover and other things and timing like that, you got to adjust to. So, yeah, it's going to be it, interesting it, to see what part yeah. of the country he takes this yeah. to. And then to take out that couple elements. Now, like I know on the next one, he's going to allow one day of practice. Yeah, he's going to make some tweaks. And uh, so they've learned several things off this one, but um, it's going to be. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch moving forward. Yeah. And one of the big things, and I've seen this on social media and a lot of the comments. They're like, okay, well, he just scheduled it in April. It's nothing but a bed fishing tournament, so you don't need forward-facing sonar anyway. The reason this date was picked had nothing to do with bed fishing and everything to do with allowing these professionals a break to have a short tournament where they didn't have to spend a lot of time away from home. So he was kind of working working it through their schedules to yeah. see you know, what was possible. Yeah. So bed fishing just happened to come into play a little bit. But I Most of our think, comments have been kind of talking about, well, this is an easy – Easy time to catch fish. Uh, it might have been yesterday. Yeah, it's yeah. not today. Yeah, if you're bed yeah. fishing, we're sitting here looking at the water. You're not going to see them. I, you know, but that that's something to be said. Is that's not why it's in April. No, you know? not and at it all. It was just this first one, and you had to pick a starting date sometime. Well, the the other thing too, for like the guys that live up in the Carolinas and Tennessee, they're heading to Florida for the next Bassmaster event. Yeah. It this is a good resting spot. Have a fun tournament, and then make your way down to Florida for your oh, next yeah. event. Yeah. So absolutely. he really thought a lot of things through. And, He's done an uh, awesome job organizing. Because you got the Harris yes. chain coming up next down in Florida for Bassmaster, and uh, this is just a good stop to uh, before you make that next nine hour drive. So yeah. Basically, it's, it's and the top break. the top list is a mixture of everybody. Yeah, it's pros and locals. It's, it's not yeah. one sided. Not at all. We've got fishermen catching fish. That's it. That's doing it. what they do. And But it is, you know, I do realize that that's going to be one of the things that a lot of people will say. It's a bad fishing tournament. It's a bad fishing tournament. And, and yeah, we just can't, you know, we can't control Mother Nature. But, again, I just want to stress, so much that's not why he chose yeah, the first week of all. April. And, again, I was on the lake not this past Saturday, two Saturdays ago. And we were actually very shallow fishing. I didn't see the first bed anywhere. And again, you were on the lake this is Saturday. Yeah, I, I had to stay south of Browns Bridge and I went backs of creeks and looking at things. And you don't see that like where you can see the two right up there. Yeah, I didn't see anything like that. So it's not to, obvious. You had, to, you had to slide back and then like if there was a pocket, um, sometimes you just see your, your line just get up and move. And then I had one where a green pumpkin worm and chartreuse, and I, that it swam off forever. And I finally got impatient, set the hook. I came back with no chartreuse and just a green pumpkin part of the that, worm. That happens a lot. And Nathan I, Duong I, says, I think I, the top 12 is going to be stacked. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're going to watch yes. this, and it is. no matter who you cheer for, it's just going to be like, you're going to have that, oh, my God moment. I think so. Because it's going to cool, be like, yeah. okay, they pulled it off on this. And then, Wait a minute. Here's this other guy that pulled it off. Uh -huh. And so the consistent sacks that you see are just, uh, it's impressive. Yeah. I think, um, I think when I was doing the podcast with Alan and we were talking about our leader, uh, Johnson. Yeah. He's from Canada. Yeah. And he said, if we were on a small mouth, like he would just wear us, everybody out to begin with, Oh yeah, you know, but now we're down here spotted bass on Lanier. Yeah. I don't know when the last time he was on this lake, if he's ever been on this lake before, um, maybe he has, but yeah. still to come in, a noted northern angler got that big large mouth. I'm sure that was probably a bed fish. Probably yeah. pulled that in from a bed, but still to pull 24 pounds on a southern lake just shows the talent um, that's out there. Of course, on the pro side, absolutely on the pro side. And then, you know, we there were several locals in the field. I probably could have gone down and had a list of eight to nine of them that any one of those guys could win this tournament, especially if it was a one day tournament. Yeah, on any given day. But the cool thing is, like you said. 
to over three days. Is the three days going to be what separates the pros from the locals? That, that's going to be the key part of it. Because yeah. those guys know how to maybe mark some fish or know where to go and come back to them later. They'll yeah. save them for that final day. Yeah. yeah lo local guys might get used to playing golf is what I call it, where they got their holes. Exactly. And they cycle through them. But the local guys that are in it, they, they know how to adapt. Yeah. But the, the pro professional guys, that if you look at their schedules for years, they know how to fish pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn. Post they know how to adapt. Yeah. And the fact that they did it with no practice, a four-hour ride around, and figured it out basically in three or four hours. Yeah. That that, that it's shows impressive. you who, who showed up. And, and I'll tell you, here's another thing that a lot of you guys don't think about, but this is going to occur more uh, with the locals. You know, a lot of these guys – fish together they know uh they know the typical bedding areas for largemouth they've either a fished together at them they've either showed each other uh hey here's a spot here's a spot i wonder how much beforehand communication was made like you know just take angler x mm -hmm. to angler y like but you know i'm going there first mm -hmm. you know that's my spot i want to know how much uh don't go in my area yeah. <laughs> and how much communication actually yeah. took place between the local guys. Yeah. Cut me some slack. Stay out of my hiding spot. You yeah. Know, so my sneaky like, spots. Like, you know, that's my spot. And I just wonder maybe behind the scenes after this tournament has passed, if we hear a little bit of drama from that, you know, it, maybe it would some be run -ins. interesting to see who rented houses together and how, <laughs> how it all stacks up. Yeah. Like who's shacking up. Yeah. Like these, these three guys, they got it all figured out and they're in a certain section of the lake. And um, yeah, it's going to be, when you see how they, they travel together and work together, um, but keep in mind they had to do it with no practice. They couldn't make a they yeah. couldn't make a cast. Oh, absolutely. That that's so. I think going forward, he has said uh on the next one, and again, anytime you do something for the first time, there's always some bugs, some kinks you gotta work out. One of which I've heard Alan talk about is the no practice. I think on the next one they're gonna give a day or two of practice, maybe. Yep. Uh going forward. And I think that's okay. Um you know, we do have a question. We do have a question. Well, what's that question? All right, a comment. Yep. Uh, James Ramsey, he's like, what happened to the big field of boats that was projected? Okay, so and James. We're kind of in that field area yep. to kind of address that. So here, here's the way that played out. And, again, I'm basically repeating what Alan has said on our podcast. When he first put this idea out, he approached a bunch of different anglers and said, hey, if I do this, will you fish? He had 303 anglers commit and say, yes, if you put this on, we will fish it. So in wanting to make a big splash, he said, let's try to do a 200-boat field at a $5,000 buy-in. First place, we'll pay $200,000. All right? But that's the, way, that's the way it works. So then now it comes time to, okay, guys, this is going to be a reality. What can we do? And he had 137 anglers actually register. Okay, not paid their money, but register. And a lot of the guys uh, that said, yes, we will do it, they kind of, I, I don't know if they got cold feet. I don't know if sponsors, you know, behind the scenes told them not to, not to fish this kind of tournament. Uh, all these different variables. But one of the things we heard more often than not is everybody wanted to know who was getting in, who had paid, who was going to commit. And so what happened from that is now the, uh, the field got smaller. And unfortunately, a lot of the local anglers said they would do it. And then all they ever wanted to know is who, who paid, who paid, who paid. And they just weren't willing to say, you know what? I'm going to man up. I'm going to put my money in the pot and I'm going to go fish. And that's why I read off that list at the beginning of these anglers. They put their money where their mouth is, man. It didn't matter who was fishing. Yeah. This is a cool idea. I'm going to go fish it. So and from these weights, they're proven. They're proven. They brought their game. And that's why, that's why you've seen the, the field, uh, kind of get a little smaller but i will also say this um i guarantee you going forward some of the pros that were on the sidelines that maybe wanted to i know g-man couldn't because uh he loves the idea and there were several others but they have a toyota opens yeah he had a week. conflict had a, they did have a scheduling conflict and they're already invested in the points uh but he's already said hey wherever the next one is he's gonna fish it at least that's what i've been told i've not talked to him personally but g-man if you're ever watching Hit me up on Facebook, baby. We'll talk about it. You know, I, I think uh, a lot of people that didn't are probably going to regret it in the long run. I think it's going to be way more popular mm -hmm. than they thought. 
Yeah. They're going to be like, is. man, I should have got in there and duped you, it you out. You kind of see the same thing happen on Saturdays, like with Scott Barnes deal, though. Yeah. If a meal and them ain't traveling and they know they're fishing Scott's thing on Saturday, people get a little more tired. I don't like, want to donate my money. Yeah. I'm so, so yeah. like, all right, wait a minute. Now I got to come with X amount of weight. And it's just a mental thing, but but if instead if you do, of looking at it like, hey, I can get out here and compete with these guys. Yeah, but if you do, I even what Scott it. says, just show up, have fun, learn. Absolutely, and it help. It'll force you to step up your game. Yeah, and you all these guys harder. that I've met are friendly. They're not going to give you their sneaky spots or their super secrets, but I mean, they're all just really no, good. They're going to give really you really good sports. What do you, what do you call that? Sugar free juice. Sugar free juice. Not you the get juice, the sugar, sugar free, free juice, juice no. like this, no, no. but you don't get the sugar. In um, it. I'll say this, and this is just for me personally. If you were one of the names that put your name in and then waited to the last minute to back out and you didn't have a legitimate conflict, I uh I I, I kind of hope myself that you're not fishing the next one. That you yeah. lived and learned, you had your yeah. opportunity, you know. Absolutely. I'm sure there were some legitimate reasons why some guys couldn't fish, but a lot of guys just kind of drug it on and drug it on and drug it on. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, from here on out, it's gonna be by invitation. I believe he said something that, like that's that. That's something that they're looking at. But I know that after this one, he's going to get input from everybody. Alan's going to get all the feedback and everything and then figure out how he does the second one. Yeah. And uh, and then it'll all be out there. And he's learned a lot. And uh, we'll, he'll just get some tweaks to it. Yeah. And it'll, it'll be fun. Well, that's what I'm saying. Anytime you do something for the first time, there's always, there's always those naysayers. Yeah. You're always going to have your naysayers. And then you're going to have the people that just kind of sit and want to wait and see what happens right and then jump into it yeah so i can just tell you from what we've experienced uh especially with the volunteers and the people uh from other organizations that are surrounding this and helping out you know it's a good group of people and if you think that national eyes are not on this tournament you're mistaken badly national eyes are on this tournament yeah and uh, they're going to be watching it seeing how it rolls off and kudos to the Thuring Anglers Association for putting it on because absolutely it's um you know but again one more time it's not a protest tournament <laughs> no it is it's not not a now, I think everybody on those that list has four facing sonar and some of them might even have two transducers for like a, a scout mode and a forward mode and everything else and uh they just wanted to have fun just having an old fashioned tournament well let me let me ask you guys this and again we're just three yahoos we don't fish professionally we just talk fishing love talk fishing uh and like to hang out with guys that fish better than we do um but do you think you could ever see in a professional um and bassmaster and mlf i'm talking to you right now do you ever think that they might incorporate maybe one of these tournaments a year a throwback tournament an all-star type tournament yeah a non-points tournament yeah i think they could something old school classic okay, how, how, something. About, how about this you think they could or you think they should i think they should just uh liven up the air coverage on it and um it'd be fun to see different formats throughout the year saying um hey we're gonna do one of those old school bassmaster deals where uh you know you're a pro and you're a pro and you guys get drawn out together you gotta figure out who's gonna use whose boat yeah and just mix it up and um Make it fun for the fans. Yeah, you know what would be really cool? They give them all six foot six old pistol grip, pistol grip <laughs> rods. They give <laughs> them like five a, and a half they, footer. They give them about like a seventy seven Ranger or something with a oh, Shimano yeah. old school Shimano Bantam on it with Bantam a little slide button like on it. And give them all five, <laughs> all five of the same baits. And that was it. Yeah. And then you were out to West Coast and on the. This tournament's drawn such huge interest is because it is different. And it's really sad when you say we're going back to kind of a little bit of the original way of fishing that that's different these days. Yeah. It's, uh, you know. but that's how, I mean, we've, we've seen crazy stuff with technology before where uh 360 was crazy side scan but everybody yeah. loved it learned it and then now you you got guys trying putting forward facing transducers on the back of their boat it's crazy where the pad runs at 70 some odd miles an hour i'm yeah. like that ain't gonna last i don't think no. so <laughs> no. and uh but yeah there's 
there's a way to do different formats and make it fun. And uh, but every everybody that's fishing this one is saying they're having a lot of fun doing it, and there's not the stress of a uh, points deal. It's just a good old pot tournament, swing for the fence. So let me ask you this: um, You remember when the A rig was supposed to ruin bass fishing? Oh yeah. You know, granted they they outlawed it on some levels and all that, but yeah. I, I remember anytime something new comes along. Yeah. You know, oh, this is going to ruin fishing. And uh, again, I'm not getting on the Randy Blockett train or anything like that, but let's just get you, you know, you two guys, your opinions on forward facing sonar, specifically with bass tournaments. Mm -hmm. How you view them, what do you think? Is it going in the wrong direction? Uh, I'm not a fan of the glasses and the stuff that's coming out where you can wear, and you know, we got too many jet skis on this lake. You, you don't want to be wearing forward facing glasses right? and trying to navigate um, whoever's coming around the next corner on a jet ski. Yeah. Um, but the technology itself, I love it. Still having to learn it. Right. And um, it, it does it, not it, mean you're going to catch fish. It, it is no, it fun doesn't. on. <laughs> It is fun on this lake when there's a herring spawn and flip that thing to scout mode and watch how spots feed on herring. Yeah, It is a totally different thing. And you will literally get addicted and hit that trolling motor button, chase them out all over the lake. And when it's on scout mode and you watch them, how they circle them up and then they go attack them. Yeah. yeah. That is wicked to see. You see the cloud of bait and you're looking at it and all yeah. of a sudden the huge blips in and out of it. In and out of it, splitting the bait up. The, the, only, the only downside of it is for 30 years, I'm not sure 95% of my cast was ever near a fish. <laughs> you know what? That, that, that's, that, that's... <laughs> you're not wrong. You're not wrong. 2,500 casts a day and I'm like, uh, maybe, uh, you know. I'm hoping for five fish out of 2,500 casts, power fishing. Yeah. But now you get to see, are you wasting time or not, and move on to the next thing. I got you. And that, that is something that it is a useful tool. Yeah. I've heard several people tell me that what it's taught them most, it hasn't necessarily increased their catch rate, Yeah. but it has taught fish behavior. Yeah, and the only thing this year that where it's got some attention is if, if the timing of those tournaments that we've seen were just off – one or two more weeks mm -hmm. it would have changed how those where those fish would have been located yeah oh yeah we so, got a, we got uh, a comment in Lake there for or whatever yeah. so and honestly the the tournament organizations have no control over the weather timing and what's right. happening yeah and so uh but i can tell you fishing lake fork back in the past uh it used to be great on valentine's day and send your flowers in advance and you're going fishing and, and that, that 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 time frame was excellent here we go listen to this listen up wow so what you guys are hearing right now is the announcer kind of giving people that are here to watch um kind of going over over everything that's right so he's basically telling everybody how close the things are oh we got we got a we got an angler way right here we do the man himself who's this boat number what alan brooks alan brooks oh alan yeah the man himself mr alan brooks is here Oh, I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> Alan Brooks, Canton, Georgia. There we go, Alan. Woo! He had 13.09 yesterday. How many we got today, Alan? He's got five smallest today, see. But you know what? Alan's smiling at everything. He, he is does. grinning. He does not have a, his business suit on today, though, so he is without his jacket. Five, he looks different. Looks different. Today's weight, 11.63. 11.63. 11 a little bit about your day. There you go. So Alan, so Alan come in, you know, Alan is the mastermind behind this tournament. Uh basically two day total roughly right there at twenty four uh seventy two. So that's what I got. Again, my math is uh North Georgia math, so it's close. Um what we got going on we've, there. We've, we've, we've got our link now where they can show the stage. Okay, good. Yeah, you guys stay tuned. They'll be going back and forth. The tournament, we're paying 12 places. The top 12 will go out tomorrow to fish for the 
for all the money. But now today, we'll uh, award big fish. If, if, if they didn't make the top 12, we'll get them paid today. All right, so big fish is today. Bass is worth uh, $5,000. $5,000. With 47 boats is 65000 Wow. That's your entry fee right there. Second yeah, absolutely. 30000 Third place, $25,000. Fourth place, $20,000. Fifth place is $15,000. And six through 12, the last place in the money, will each receive double their entry at $10,000. No, sir. No, you're good. Absolutely. Perfect. The idea behind this thing is to get as close to are 100% on him or are we on payout us? as we can. No live scope. These guys showed go. out yesterday, old school fishing. I mean, uh, how many bags? I think we had like nine bags over 20 pounds. So it that's really lot. impressive. And uh, I think they're biting again today, so we're looking forward to having a great weigh-in. And anybody right now that's in from 30th place to first place could move up there and, and take this thing, take over the lead today. It wouldn't surprise me one bit to see it really get shook up. He's right. It's anybody's game it at is. this point. So that's, it's it's going to be interesting. We'll determine the top 12 after today. We'll go out tomorrow and fish for the money. And then tomorrow afternoon, we're going to do a drive-through weigh-in, starting with the guy in 12th place. We'll be driving through here. Okay, so we'll we're going to have to move our cameras tomorrow. <laughs> fish, and uh, we'll do a drive-through weigh-in with them tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, guys, when they are putting their fish up to the scat today, and uh, I acknowledge that they're weight and everything, let's give these things a big round of applause. we got guys from... All right, so if you guys are listening, I'll kind of recap what he says here in a second. Because we are not hooked up to their uh, to their mic. So basically what he was saying is Alan Brooks came in, uh, the mastermind of this tournament. He weighed in. Um, I think he said uh, first place was, what did he say? Was it sixty five or 67000 Yeah. Um, and then second place, I believe, was 30000 And um Third place, twenty five thousand. I believe so. Going to pay down twelve spots. They are going to award big fish today, uh, right now, which is currently, I believe, seven four one. I don't have it written down. Don't. I think I did. Let's see. It's, it's in the page. seven. Is it on? Is it? They got yeah, it on this. On. Oh yeah. So uh, Jared Lintner right now, seven point four one, is big fish. But these anglers are going to start rolling in here, and what they're going to do uh, tomorrow. He went ahead and. I'm glad he told us this because we're going to have to set up a little bit different tomorrow. You have tomorrow, a different view tomorrow. We have a little bit different view tomorrow because tomorrow, a very NPFL style and bass, all those, they do that. They're going to bring the boats through here and let each of the um, each of the anglers show off their uh, first flight's doing it at 3.30. 3.50 for the second flight. we got so, about 10 or 12 minutes. And then, they're going to yeah. start pouring in. And then so we're going to really – I will um, – us as a group, we'll kind of comment on the anglers and the weights that we're seeing as they come in. We're flying by the seat of our pants right here. We got somebody doing grunt, uh, stump grinding, it sounds like, yeah. over there. But it's, it's pretty loud. It is pretty loud. But again, guys, like I said, this is just this is raw. It's kind of the way we do our podcast. It's just here it is. You get what you get. And uh, But Alan come in a little bit early. Uh, you know, of course, I think that was probably by design. Yeah. By design so he can come in and, and all this. But I tell you what you got going on here. You know, you've got a lot of people, uh, Bass 365s here, and uh, they're doing some stuff. You're going to have to uh, kind of help me when we switch cameras and all that because yeah. I don't know what view we got going on. But if you can see behind us, I'll duck. Yeah. We got a crowd back It's on there. us right now. There's a crowd there gathering. There's a crowd behind us and uh, probably a lot of people that I know. And so we appreciate all of y'all and all these comments that are watching from all over tuning in. Tomorrow we'll have a monitor and won't have to use the phone. <laughs> yeah, but we appreciate all of you from everywhere. You're doing, listen, you're doing an outstanding job with your phone, though. This stuff. I don't know how the hell you see it with glasses keep, on, but other it's than the that, pollen. I keep oh, is it the pollen? It keeps turning fuzzy green. So uh, it's chartreuse. But what we are noticing out there is there are some boats starting to come in. So I believe our first flight is showing up. We got and, four or fives uh, just sailed around the corner on yeah. us. And so, guys, if you don't know where we're at, we're at Laurel Park, which is basically yeah. on the northern end of Lake Lanier. You see our drone footage now. Uh, we got the drone uh, we got footage. The drone so we up. got the drone up going. Uh, I tell you what, some of these guys I know shot down to the south part of the lake. Mm -hmm. okay. How, I mean, that's what, 45 minutes? You got, well, you, you got to hike in the wind. And that's, we're not counting the wind on a yeah, smooth yeah. day. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they get down – 
Vans Tavern and two miles, six mile and all that. They, they got a hike from here. Yeah, it, it is. So you and got the white cap and the waves. Yeah. It, it's going to slow you down, rough ride. Definitely. Going, well, a lot of these guys are going to be feeling it. Um, yeah. Feeling definitely. it tomorrow. I will say this, though. Even though this is a fun tournament, there's still so much strategy involved in that. You've got to commit. I'm going south. I've got the – I'm going to drive. It's going to take me so long to get down there. I'm kind of lessening my fishing time because yeah. I've got to make the drive back up, you know. And so yeah, – um, do, do they, they want the two spots hours out in of the morning day. and do a largemouth kicker way. in the afternoon up here? Could, could that be? They could do a largemouth kicker down there in the back of some of those creeks. They could. They can do whatever. I mean, well, let me ask you if you were fishing this, and again, I know that none of us are qualified to fish it. Yeah. But if we were qualified, what would be your strategy? Like going into the day, say, say you're middle of the pack. Yeah. Say you got to have a really good day to, uh, to jump on board. What, what, what would you do? I'm going to stay north of Brown's Bridge. You're going for largemouth. Because that's where I got the most comfort. Right? Fishing shallow. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's at, I'm still 15 feet or less. Yeah. yeah, and we've caught enough spots out here in the last month that even if you threw a shaky head out there, it it's going to hit probably in the first eight to ten feet. And Joey saw that this morning, and he, all he did was slide out a little bit more. And he's like, "I'm gonna go for those bigger fish," because you can watch he was just starting to catch buck bass. Yeah. So he just slid out, and all of a sudden, here comes a three, here comes a four, another bigger. Four. Big girls. He found the big and girls out there. He he was doing his thing, and. Um, yeah, I mean, the, but the local guys know that south end better than anybody. Yeah. And that's where and, generally uh, a lot of your tournaments around here are won. Yeah. Except during the spring. Spring is the equalizer that the north end guys, because of the largemouth. Well, once that sun starts setting at 7 o'clock, it's anybody's game. Yeah, I got you. So it's going to be very interesting just to see. And, of course, maybe after this we'll get, you know, get some of the anglers and kind of get into their minds and their thoughts. You know, what was your strategy going forward? And uh, just see how it plays out. Yeah. And then whether it worked for them or not. Yeah. Because if you look, you got Drew Cook, top sight fisherman in the world, in my opinion. Um, you got Andy Morgan, one of the best jig, jig fishermen that are that's out there. You got Emil and Paul that know this lake like the back of their hand. Yeah. It It's going to be crazy. Once, once you see, even if they repeat, repeat what they did yesterday, you're going to sit here and just go, this is unreal. Yeah, uh, he's uh, got the MC testing the mic a little bit, but I tell you, here's another thing that a lot of people you may or may not know, and this is not exact, but uh, spots when you're fishing, like let's say bed fishing, you get a large mouth locked on bed, you pretty much got to put that bait in the bed, you got to toy with it, almost agitate that fish to, to protect its bed. Spotted bass, they bed a little bit deeper, you're not necessarily sight fishing for those, but they're not as uh. They're not as apt to stay on the bed. If you get something within 10 feet of them, they're just like, oh, they're way more aggressive. Yeah. 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 Well, they're just pissed off fish. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, in general, in general. So that they're, they're far more apt to go get it. Uh, yeah. But we got our first flight of boats coming in here. This is going to be really exciting. Um, Y'all enjoying that drone footage? I'm watching it. it. We got it's clicking footage. back and forth. Okay. Yeah, that's we good. got some really talented local guys watching here behind us about uh, 150 feet. <laughs> Really? <laughs> the, Can you name drop any? I, I have uh, turned around. I, I know there's a couple that kicked my butt on Saturday, about okay. 150 feet from this mic. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Well, but they're they're very good, and um, but you know it, they, they've been on the lake a lot, and there was an off limit, so that yeah. was the only downside of it. So, so it's going to be really cool just to see these guys. Kind of the anticipation is building a little bit. Um, again, like I said, you've got the crowd showing up behind us, and guys, this is this is Wednesday. So, so this is during the week. Yeah. So the fun Mid thing week. yesterday right. that you saw was okay, you got guys with their tournament jerseys on and all that. And then you got guys just coming up in a t shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I love <laughs> it. I love it. That's very MPFL like too. Yeah, that's it's the way like, it hey, is. You just, you just come with your sack of fish. We don't care how you went. Right. This that's is it. an awesome event. That's it. And if we're all actually, way around. And look, we're sitting here and if I look this way, we got a, a couple of kids in a boat fishing out there as all oh, this yeah. is going on i yeah. believe that's a paddle boat it, it might be a paddle Am I boat. Seeing that correctly? it has a small trolling motor or kind of electric motor on the back okay yeah oh be. so what's funny is old guy said hey boys let's just go up the lake they have some, let's just go yeah. fish up They're at gonna dump some really big fish out here in well, just a few minutes yeah. that's a paddle boat. they got yeah. four kids in there to paddle because this thing ain't gonna be that's done. it but he's like he's like let's just go up the lower part today and fish and then all of a sudden here comes this armada of Bass boats. He's like, what we stumble into? Yeah, he's like, why are all those people up there in the parking lot and everything? 
Three but, chubby uh, guys up here on camera. Three chubby guys. Yeah. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Two chubby guys and a hat. No, I am chubby. But um, again, we're going to see, you know, what happened. Today. I'm just really curious to see how the weather yeah, affected it. As soon as you get your boat loaded up, get your fish out, you can head down this way. We're ready to start All right, playing. so scales are open right now. He just announced that if but, you're there, load it up, let's go. But in the parking lot, you'll see wrap boats, non wrap boats. It's just a pot tournament. It is a pot tournament. It's just fun. And that's what Alan good. wanted. Yeah. Good old fashioned good tournament. Good old fashioned fishing. pot tournament. Uh, you come, you do well, you go home with some money. If not, you shake the next guy's hand and, and move on about your business to the and, next and one. The way in from yesterday is living proof that it is a mixture. It is definitely a mixture. Um, Th but this I is going to be, being here yesterday, this is probably going to be one of the funnest way ins you've ever seen. Really? Yeah. I'm yeah, looking forward to it. I think so, quick. too. And it's just, you're going to look over here and say, there's a meal sitting right next to the Bassmaster Classic champ, wait to weigh fish. Yeah. And then you got, there's an Angler of the Year guy. Here's um, another guy that's won other championships. And here's a guy that's a local legend. Oh, yeah. And they're all in the same way in line. Yeah. And yeah. you're going to see that here in like 20 minutes. All and, intermingled. And I'm going to tell you guys, listen, I'm going to do my best to, as they call out, add it up. My weights are 100% not official, and <laughs> I'm liable to get one or two wrong. So we may have another phone out using the calculator. We're, yeah, we, we're going to do our best just to kind of keep it. But again, we as a group have said 36 pounds is the cut line. You got to have over 36, or you're not going to be fishing. Yeah, tomorrow. that is a fair assessment. Right I think there. that because I mean, and that puts old Johnston uh, 12 pounds away from that. Yeah, so he could just go out and catch some, you know typical Lanier specials, two and a half, three pound spots. And, you know, he might be safe. Yeah. Being a pot tournament though. Um, I think these guys are swinging for the fence. Wouldn't you? Oh yeah. For a chance at that money. Oh yeah. I absolutely would. So yeah. guys, listen, if you're watching this, I know we've been going, we've been going basically about an hour and uh, it's about that time. Showtime folks. Event. A little history for today. The first event with with uh, no live scope, one of the, one of the first events with a, almost 100% gotcha. payout of all the anglers' entry fees back to them. We're paying one place, a little over one place for every four uh, boats that signed up. Yeah. Be paying 12 places like Bass Pro Shop and Anglers Club. Uh, we're paying 12 places on 47 entries. First place today is going to be worth $65,000. $65,000. Wow. Uh, we'll determine the top 12 that goes fishes for all that money uh, today will be determined. 65,000 first place prize, 30,000 second place, 25,000 third place, 20,000 fourth place, 15,000 fifth place. Six through 12 will receive double their entry fee at $12,000. Wow. Folks, that's an incredible payout. That's an incredible payout on 47 folks. Let's give a uh, the folks here with Touring Anglers Association That's right. round of applause for getting all that put together. Give them a clap there, folks. There we go. You know, and he just mentioned about it being almost 100% pay, okay. so payback. Okay, so $10,000. $10,000. Well, 10, anyway, uh, what a lot of you guys don't know, or maybe you do know, that when it comes to bass or MLF and all that, a lot of the a lot of the entry fees actually goes to the organizations. I believe Alan said something about – it might be 40% on bass. Mm -hmm. You know, 40% of the angler's entry fees goes into the organization, and that's not happening here. And, of course, it has a lot to do with these uh, these volunteers that he's got. They have people, they're, they're ready to weigh in. And um, Alan so, has kept it to a bare minimum of money that had to come he out has. of this pot to uh, Yeah, he took in a lot of himself, on. too. So. Yeah. But if you look at the – we got, like, a scrolling weigh-in total over here on the we do. bed of the truck. So down to – 27th place you're still looking at everybody having 17 pounds north yeah, that's what i'm saying it's a lot closer now yeah. you got the two 24 pound sacks mm -hmm. that i pretty much say if they had a regular day they're guaranteed but so then you get into third place and down it's anybody's game yeah it's anybody's good day top 12 cut day top they 12 go for broke tomorrow yeah. you know and like i said we got our first flight coming in right now and kind of that you know anticipation of seeing what the guys got and uh, especially you know, I, I just want to see how how the pros fared on day two. Yeah, with this yesterday really being the practice day. Yeah, it really so was a practice day. So they'll, they'll have it dialed in, and then you're going to watch these weights go crazy. I got you. By how many people we got behind us? I'm, I'm too chubby to turn around. Uh, I'm going to go 
50-60. Yeah, 50-60. I listen. Easy 50 so that's to good. 60. And I imagine Packers. tomorrow will be even better. Uh, but, again, this is through the week. And that is another thing, too. That's why this tournament's through the week because, you, like you were talking about earlier, yeah. the travel schedules. It's yeah. a perfect time to come in. Jonathan uh, Ray was asking if there was any on the water coverage. No, I we don't have that yet. Uh, unless they're, they're, Fuentes was uh, going uh, live on his yeah. personal uh, stuff. Uh, Austin, Austin Young. He's a young local angler. Uh, known this kid since he was like four. So great kid, great family, and uh, kudos nice to him. Fish, he sir. said, you know what? I just Ooh, want to fish it. Look at that. Has he got a nice in there? Oh, we got a big fish being weighed in for today. Big girl. Austin Young from Marble Hill, Georgia. He had five bass yesterday and weighed 1233. All right. So check one for big bass. Now right, let's see what he's got right here. Was that a large mouth or a spot? I couldn't tell. Okay. Spot. Seven pounds, seven point four one is big bass. That fish right there is about four and a half pounds. Right, four and a half spot spot. Probably spot. You get four listen, you get four and a half uh, pound spot average though. You've done well. So Austin had um twelve thirty three yesterday, getting ready uh, ready to weigh in his five and uh like I said, Austin's just he's just a young guy that fishes Lanier and just wanted to jump in here and rub elbows with these pros. And so kudos to him. This young man got him a five fish limit today. Let's see what he's got. Fish today. On beds. On beds. All right, so there you go. Bed fishing right here. That's a little over 12 pounds yesterday, right? Today's weight a little bit better. 14 point. We'll get a little air around here when it sets up. So here we go with this. Waiting on them to adjust the scales a little bit. Lay down, Betty. Yeah, lay they down. are flopping. Lay down, they're, Betty. They are fired up in that out. basket. They're we excited. Plus mile an hour wins. 14.51. 14 14 that's good. Good job. So that's going to put him at 26. <laughs> by my math, 26.84. Got James Watson next. Oh, got James Watson, Mr. FBD, right here, baby. Let's see what he's got. So yesterday he had 17.91. We'll see what he's done today. Got his five fish. James Watson. He sure did figure out how to make some headlines before coming into this tournament, did he not? <laughs> from Lampy, Missouri, James Watson from Lampy, Missouri. He had 17.91 yesterday. 17.91. How many we got today, James? He's got a five fish limit. He's got nine. He had eight yesterday. I want to talk to this guy. This is the guy I want to talk to. Mr. Personality right here. You had to bring a few extra ones in. That's right. That's so right. let's see what he's got right here. This has been a lot of fun. Anytime you get to go sight fishing, it's just All right, so it sounds like he did a little sight fishing yeah. today. We got here another big bag of fish today. 17.47, 17. 17.47, 17. 17. so that's going to put him over 35 pounds. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a picture of Maple's one right here. Let's see, eight. Hey, listen, I'm doing the math as we go. Eight, carry the one. Yeah. <laughs> we had somebody ask if we would be doing talking to any anglers. That'll, we'll probably we're gonna be tomorrow. To. I'm we'll gonna, try to get them today. We're going to try to get them. There you go. Look at that right there. Great job. Of course, we're going to have to my just his eyeballs. <laughs> All right, 42. So David Williams right here. So he had 19.45 yesterday. So he's one of those. Yeah, he's one of those. Uh-oh. Here we go. Got a big fish right here. Got over 19 pounds yesterday. Tight. He's got a nice one today to get it started. 6.60. 6.60. 6 6 so not necessarily big enough for big fish, but that lets me know he's probably got another sack going right here. He's got another big sack of fish right here. It's going to push that 19 pound mark again today. Okay, well, there you go. So, hey, listen, this is, this is pretty exciting. So we just uh, watched him weigh a big fish, six. Was it six six? Was that what it was? Yeah, six six. Right I got a feeling this guy is about to solidify himself for tomorrow, right here. Yes, sir. We're gonna have a new leader as soon as this guy gets. You will, from the looks of it. Good night. Nineteen, buddy. 
you see the size of that thing? Yes, yesterday. Listen to the weight today. Nineteen point seven zero. Nineteen seven zero. So he, he is uh he's over thirty nine pounds. Yeah. And again, I'm not doing the official. You want thing. to move that cut line? That cut line. <laughs> listen, I hey, listen. I'm new to this. All right. I thought thirty six was pretty good, but yeah, they're putting in some weights. Look at that little boy up there holding that. Oh, oops. That's all right. That's all right. Well, it's as big as he is. I no doubt right there. So, one, I think unofficially, and again, this is unofficial. I got, um, look at that. Look at that. 39.15 is what I've got. Now, again, my math could be off, but 39.15. This is David Williams. And, uh, He's a good dude. Welcome to Lake Lanier, right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Lake that is awesome. All right. So who we got now? All right, going got a next angler right here. So right now, unofficially, thirty nine one five is the the weight this to beat. Ricky Robinson from Greenback, Tennessee, has got five bass. He we won't hold that against him. He's from Tennessee. Got a little better weight today. What boat was he? Fifteen point three two. Fifteen point three two. Fifteen three two. I know you got down on He said Ricky Robinson. Yeah. He must have he, he must have done it under another name or something. I don't know anything on my list. Uh, oh yeah, he is right there at the front. So what was it again? It's gonna be roughly over twenty eight pounds is what he's got. So I might just quit trying to do math and just guess. He's biased towards chick. Yeah. So he, he's he's uh, got an MPFL jersey on, so maybe that's who he's with. But uh, did you hear that? So he said this is something that needs to get going. So this is Lintner. Yeah, Lintner's coming. Next. Okay, so oh, this is Mr. Stash right here, the guy with the best mustache in all of fishing right here. Look at that. Look at that right there. He looks like the Marlboro Man. Like, he could do that back in the day. <laughs> Get the Marlboro Man. <laughs> Hold your women back. Yeah. All right? Hold your women back. But he's uh, he was in second place. He's leading big fish right now. 741 had 2473 uh, yesterday. Our next timer coming to the scales, Jared Littner from Covington, Georgia. Currently in second place and leading big bass yesterday. Let's see what he's got. 24.73. Big bass was 7.41. How many we got today, Jared? They got five fish today, and the weight, Dwayne. 17.27. So I tell you what, now that is just about a six-pound difference from yesterday. So that might that might um that might have opened some doors right there. So I mean, he's over. He's roughly about ah, my math 34, 41, 42 pounds right there. So yeah. he should be safe for the. He should be, right. the, he should be safe. Yeah, but again, twenty four yesterday. So going from 24 yesterday to 17 days, that kind of shows that we could have some of those fluctuations in weights. Yeah, you especially know, with the day. This one's going to be a hard one to call it on. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Congratulations, big guy. Appreciate it. Heck of a two days. I just got to shake hands with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> get James Watson over here. He's eating pizza right now. Yeah, so well, yeah go, th- go get that pizza out of Watson's mouth. Get him uh, over here. He, 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 I just let him eat. I mean, he, he worked he's a hard. Drill sergeant. I ain't taking a pizza. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Maybe he hardly worked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Sonar Pro, the man, Trent. Hey, baby. This is awesome. Hell of an event. Hell of an event. Ain't bad, is it? We'll catch up in a minute. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
James oh, comes over here. We might have to steal your seat for a second. That'll be just but fine. Keep up with them comments yeah, going on right there. So, who do, uh, so this is Trent, guys. This is from Dawsonville, Georgia. Listen, if you need your sonar installed and you want it done by the best in the business, take it with the pros guy right here. Sonar pros, Mr. Trent Palmer. Absolutely. So great, fantastic guy. All right. Oh, yeah. You thank you. Today. I'm sad you didn't hey, we can do it. Got a little better stringer today. Good looks at that. 17.94. 17.94. You want to get a picture of the one there? You do? Now, while we don't have much of a line, get you a couple out. All right, listen. Right there today. I'm, who am I? Come back for you. Yeah, I'm on. Come on. Come on. Listen, here, here's hey, your listen, chair. Right? Buddy, <laughs> buddy, I'm a cheap date. Give me a chair right here. I'm a cheap on, date. Big grab a car over 17 pounds of bass. Great Jump job. in there. Thank you, sir. Okay. Doing good. Spencer Howard. Spencer Howard. Oh, good Lord now. Okay, so that, listen, man, post-COVID, I, I can't remember nothing. Well, I moved up here from Florida, and knowing a lot of these guys, I fished with Jason Johnson as a co-angler on TV. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's fun just to come up and see the guys that you traveled with and fished with. Oh, yeah. Get to hang out with and watch them. Watching Joey today fishing spots that I'm fishing. Yeah, it's it's been interesting. Who we got coming up here next? Uh, I didn't get the boat number. I forget his name. He's an older gentleman. Um, he's a local gentleman. Well, that's the thing is that you know the names come in so fast and all that. Let's see what he does here. Good job, young man. I've asked the guys. I've quit trying to write numbers down. At 1705 yesterday. Okay. Right. See if I can find 1705. Another good sack today. A little bit better. Mike Morris. Yep. Eight four, 17 point eight That's four, right there at that 30, almost 35 pounds. Yeah. What do you think about this format? I think it's going to take off. I think this right here is really good uh, showing that there's a lot of traction for it. There's a lot yeah. of demand for it. But then again, you know, I'm also a big believer, a lot of keyboard warriors. Everybody's got an opinion. Yeah. You know, you could give a guy the goose that laid the golden egg and they'd complain about it makes a mess in the house. You know, and uh, that's right. But there is something to be said about, you know, the way our granddaddies fished, the way we grew up fishing. You know, yeah. Joey went out today throwing a Carolina rig, one of my favorite ways to fish. And uh, you, just don't do it. Yeah, you just don't do it with forward facing. I got forward facing the last couple of years and it's, there's a transition, learning it, mastering it, yeah. And uh, the guys who get time on the water, and That's that right. doesn't matter what kind of fish you're doing, time on the water solves it all. That's right. So, we got a local legend out here, Mr. Mark Harden, and he is one of dollar two fishing tournaments. It's pretty cool watching all this. 15.37. I'm going to get right my there. seat up to. Yeah, give it well, up. There, there's a guy that's out. Of, he's out of work. He, he needs a, he he needs needs a, a job. job right <laughs> Let me give up my seat. Hey, how you guys doing? Danny Pruitt, how you doing? Have, have a seat if you want to. Since you uh, you got a personality, everybody's told me that you and I would get along just fine. Well, I'm, we got very I'm pretty similar. good. Pretty good looking compared to you, though. You are. Now, listen, I, I'm not going to dog that. So, how hard is it being the best looking guy here today? It, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough. <laughs> what do you think about this? Oh, it's, it's, good. it's a great, great bass tournament. You know, just the fact we're out here without practice. Yeah. Uh, I really like that. I like the idea of not just showing up and going. You showcase your skills. And some days you do good. Some days you don't do so good. Oh, absolutely. That's it. But that's why it's fishing, not catching. It, that's right. So, Lake Lanier, what's your what's your thoughts on Lake Lanier? It's all right if I move this up here. You can do whatever okay. you want, man. Lake Lanier's uh, – I like Lake Lanier. Help him adjust that there. I feel he like I'm, I'm, I'm all humped listen, up. Like I'm... Listen, the man wants to be straight up yeah. and down. Oh, boy. <laughs> Perfect. Watch this. I know. i got to eat another pizza. Thanks, buddy. There you go. You're pretty good at that. He is. He's as ugly as I am, so he's all right. <laughs> oh, 29.8. Joey Sufentes. Yeah. Yesterday he was fishing in his flip flops, but when I saw him today, he was all bundled up. Right yeah. He had his hoodie on and everything. Where did you run? Uh, down, down the lake, way down the lake, and uh, look, just went sight fishing the whole time. Did you see? That's yep. what you concentrate on sight yep. fishing. Yep. Look at that. He looks good in that cowboy hat. You think I, you could pull that off? I can, I I look pretty dang good in the cowboy hat, but I can't <laughs> manage. To, he's got a big head. And he, does, he, he does got big his head. Melon, his melon fits that hat well, and okay. it don't ever blow off. It don't, no. Well, 
I got it. He's well, got a fast boat, too. Let me ask you this since I got you on here. We're going to make a, uh, for charity, a calendar of all our famous anglers in Speedos. And I'd like to offer you the opportunity to be I've like. Got more than a dozen right here. Yeah. Because of my past calendar, and yeah. I'll be glad to send it to you. You know, like that? Yeah. I, I think yeah. you would be great in a Speedo right there. Um, what do you think the cut line is going to be today? Uh, probably going to be. Probably going to be 38 pounds. 38 pounds. Yeah. Okay. We guessed 36. We thought the weather changed with a yeah. little bit, but did it with you as far as that goes? Uh, it made it a little harder to see brand new stuff. Right. Yeah. But, but it, it, the water was clear. You know, another week from now, they'll be everywhere. They will. Yeah. See, Drew's Drew's a big side fish. Right yeah, here. this is the guy. You, you oh, yeah. this is your guy right there. Yeah. So, if you got a question for him, oh, we, we met uh, two weeks ago in Tulsa. Oh my at, god! At the at the classic. At the classic, yeah. I had a unique Don't, story of who I met on a plane. It was asking about his, yeah. Fudge sponsorship. Yeah. yeah. How's your anus? Your anus is fine. Because I've it's heard I need well. to, I've heard I need to eat your anus. So well, sometimes. Well, the best fudge comes from your anus. Everybody yeah, knows. Absolutely. That. You know, the, 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 there's, there's big fun in your anus. So, if you want to find so, out, so we have a little saying at Fish Store Georgia called Yum Yum. So I need you to say Yum Yum one time. Yum Yum. You know what yum yum is? Uh, I'll tell uh, you afterwards. I can't tell you. All that. <laughs> but it might have something to do with your anus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, so it, it's just good to see all Exit the guys. Exit one sixty three on I forty four. There you go. Near Fort Leonard, Missouri. Yeah. All right, that is awesome. So yeah, I used to be down at Table Rock, went to school down there. And uh -huh. was, so all the jewel sponsorships, all the guys down there, those are great guys. And, yep. Are they? Yeah. Um, Gail Julian. I yeah. can't believe I got Mount James Parker's. Watson to say yum yum though on, on camera. This is Jimmy Milton, Canton, Georgia. I'll take you home with me. All right, Jimmy. You, you don't take all. Yeah, man, you got to choose your yum yum wisely. <laughs> Get ready for my long sad road home. It was absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you so much. There you go. So, FBD, baby. Absolutely. 45 is next. He's what a awesome. conversation I just had with old one James Watson. Have you had your anus fudge? <laughs> I no, heard I, that. I'm serious. That's, that's from very Florida. Stuff. He's got five bass. Oh, I heard that. Oh, three. that was great. That was that. Uh, I made my day. Oh, I don't even know where we're at in the standings right now. But uh, we got any, we got any questions coming in or anything? Yeah, I'll call them so I don't know the yum yum. And I was like, you know we're going to get them. That's right. So where are we at? Who's in the lead right now? He's got five bass today, but like 12 under. points. All right. Got that updated. But. We have a little bit too much fun here on the line. Five, also. three. 12.53. Thank you, hey, sir. That's all right. Right all there. Right. Rick Baker says, You're great job, big guys. Big great event. We're away. trying, man. We're Absolutely. Trying. Looks like your next wave of boats. With next John wave of Cox boats. And everybody's coming in. Okay. Can you believe that? Number forty-six. Can you believe we got James Watson coming sitting here with us? Yeah, you, you need That's another Missouri guy on this thing. He got something to talk about. That's right. Eight point eight nine. So uh, we got a local eight hammer eight right here, yes, Jesse Millsack. Probably, in my opinion, one of the best uh, local sight fishermen there is out there. And so he looks like he's got some fish again out right there. It's pretty good looking sight. On that catch, yes. yes. Got another good. So he fishes today, the MPFL. Like. At over 18 pounds, Jesse's got 16.43 today. So 16.43. Got it 34. So there you go. Now who's the next? This is so I much got, fun, guys. As we get this way in, we'll be announcing the top 12. That's right. Okay, we got the big one. We're going to check oh, the big Lord. bag. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, Lord. Who we got weighing this and then? You're the pro yeah. Jay Todd right? Tucker from Jay Todd Georgia. Tucker. Hey, buddy. Hey, he's from the Flatlands well, of Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> Weighing in one right here. Got to beat 741. Right 741. 741. 741 currently leading big bass. We're close right here. This is going to be a good one. We'll see a little, we'll see a little air right here. Stay right here so you'll see it. It'll come Watch, up right What do we got right here? He may have it. He's close. 7.49. 
Seven All right, points. so we got a new wow. big fish right that's there. That's a big bass. JT that's a new from big Multi. Bass that could be worth $5,000. That's a $5,000 fish that can hold right there. It looks like a $5,000 fish. That thing's huge. $5,000. That's definitely a largemouth. Definitely a largemouth. So yesterday, he had a 16 You got four more to go with that one? All right. So if he's got that, and I, I don't know about making the cut, but right there, that could be the five thousand dollars. He's got sixteen point two seven yesterday. With him, so. so he's, he's got, got some five pass limit today. Going to make matter. a run at that top twelve. Oh, that. Here we go. Going to be interesting. Let's see what he's got right here. Today's weight seventeen point oh two seven. Seventeen oh two. So he's right at thirty three. Reaching there, let's get that big enough. That's, I don't know that's if that'll be enough to make leader. the cut, but he's on the bottom that's of the bank. Five thousand dollar fish right there. Let's see if we can get a pick. He's going to hold this puppy up right here. He found today, Becky. It's, it's, he did. He found Becky. Yeah, big look at that. Right there, that could be worth five thousand. There you go. Right there, look guys. at this fish. Look at that. Awesome. That is awesome. Uh, We're not going to have a grand fish. You're right right you don't want to cut that big enough. Yeah, what'd you get? She was on the bed. I was, I was messing with the buck, and she just came swimming in, and then she got interested, and I threw a brush hog over in front of her and popped it up, and she just opened her mouth. Oh, uh, there you go. So big girl had to eat. That is awesome. Big girl wanted one last meal. Before the uh, festivities. She that thing in her bed. That's right. So, $5,000 fish, man. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. I would be, I would honestly be shocked. I would be shocked. Sam George from that Athens, big. Alabama with five bass. Yesterday, Sam George. 17.73. 17, 17 got yesterday. Five today. So right, he's see. got him five more today. How are we doing on comments? We good? It's mainly chatter between everybody. On that that little little bit yeah, so there you go. They're watching. Today. Another good sack of fish for Sam. Oh, just Great young so. angler. Let's see what we got Another right here. Church coming out fishing with. Yeah, man, it's been a fun week. You know, this was like a really big breath of fresh air. This breath of fresh air. On. That's how he described this. We didn't have right practice, here. so you just kind of had to figure it out as, as you went. Which you know, never being here before, it was kind of kind of weird. Like I didn't really. And this was his first know time on the lake. Go, so I, it took me a little so bit every day to figure him out. Sixteen. Oh, what you got so. it? 14.59 today, Sam. That's pretty good with no uh, no forward face and stuff. No first forward time. face on our first time on the lake. Let's come in on day two with a 14-pound bag. Yeah. That's pretty awesome right there. I dare say that man can fish. I think so. Good-looking kid, too. Yeah. Yeah. Sponsor. Got sponsors mm -hmm. written all over. Joe, thanks from Marietta, Georgia. I got, five got a Georgia yesterday. boy right here. 16.36. Got him five today. It looks All right, like. here we go. Hang tight. <laughs> Another good sack of fish. Because I get to take a How sneak peek in the man? bag when they're putting good. back in it. I mean, oh, is this a good one? Today. You'd be all right. Yeah. You'd be all right. All right. Eight or 20. He's got He's, he's got repping the Oakwood bait and tackle. Another good sack of fish. Give them guys a like shout 17. out. 17.59. 17.59. 17.59 five five right fish. there. Good job. Good job. These sacks are huge. You know, considering it, a lot of people said that, you know, without all the technology, the, the weights are going to be down. The weights are going to be down. Not at all. And and, I, and granted, you know, there is some bet fishing that's coming to play. But still, seeing a lot of spots. If we didn't tell anybody that this was a non-forward face, they wouldn't know. Let's give a big round of applause, guys. That's a great yeah. bag of fish right yeah. there two days in a row. Put two yeah. good tacks together. Definitely Thank right you. there. Mm -hmm. Our YouTube channel. YouTube Both channel. 35 is next. Yeah. Fish North Georgia. All right, so here we go right here. Randy Dover from Beaufort, Randy Georgia. Dover. So this is a local hammer. 14.04. See if he can improve on yesterday. I can tell you, anytime we have a tournament around here, his name is Good always in the today. top. Good job, buddy. We appreciate you coming out and fishing with us. 14-something yesterday. Let's see if he's got five more today. A lot better sack today. 18.24. 18. Wow. 18.24. Great job. And buddy. that is a Randy Dover sack. We'll take care that of is a Randy Dover you. sack. Uh, got another. We got a, hey, one of our buddies here on hey, the live. Brooks, right. Brooks Anderson. That's Brooks, right? That looks like Brooks Anderson. Uh, one of our favorite guys. He's been on the podcast a couple times here. Won the BFL. Yeah, that's it. So. Yeah. Want to be FL Rich here and uh, actually use that money to enter this contest right here. 17.18. At 17, 17 yesterday. 17.18 yesterday. Brooks is a very outstanding young angler. Got a great YouTube channel too, guys. So you he need does. to follow him up. And he actually does a lot of informative stuff. He's not a guy that just does it and doesn't tell you what he's catching them on. He actually lets it out there and what he's doing. So 
Nice looking sack here. Come on up here, young man. How you let's doing? Let's see what Brooks is. All right, let's see hey. what they weigh. That's impressive. Got five bass. Yes, you had 17.18. Yes. Come on, Brooks, right here. All I'm right, he's got kid. another bag, good bag of fish today that weighs 15.72. 15, 15 so probably not going to make a solid sack. Solid. 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 And again, good looking. Kid. All right. All right, you sponsors, you guys out here looking for sponsors. We got them here. We got the anglers here. Boat number 39. Uh, boat number 39 Tyler right here. Brooks, so Tyler Gainesville, Brooks. Georgia, from Gainesville. Five bass yesterday weighs 18.20. Right. 18.20. So you got so some you local guys coming in the VASS program right behind you. Get in. We got yep. food for you up there. Right, go up there and get you something good to eat. That's what he said. 1802 yesterday. Got five bass today, right? Had 18 something yesterday. 18 right? two yesterday. Right. So let's see what he's got today. today. It's still a good sack of fish. 14.12. 14. That's still 32. I'm finding 32, 33 pounds. A lot of right. guys are coming in that weight. So, we're going through a little run right here of local anglers, and then uh, you might know this guy. Tomorrow's total should Paul break. Mark here we Paul Mark Seaman. This right here is eleven point five zero. And I'm telling you what, you got today, Tom? there's not that many people that know this lake better than this guy right here. Oh yeah, you got you some nice ones in there today. He's got five bass. And his today. boy flat good out can wear them out. Good solid fish too. All good fat. So, guys, you hang around. So, what we're hopefully going to be doing is when they do the final 12, we're going to hopefully be able to get a few minutes with each one of those once this is over with. Can't confirm that, but that's what we've been told. Hey, that's all right. This hey, man still. right here has made his mark in the fishing world. Yes, he world. has. I promise you he's won a bunch of money over the years. Today's weight, 16.67. Thank you, sir. 16.67. Right. Class act right there. Paul Mark Senior. applause. Local fella here on Lake right Rob Jordan next. Ah, here's Rob Jordan. So Rob was in third place. Yeah. So Rob was coming in in third place Boat right there. And uh, where's he on this page? Yeah, yeah right there. So Rob he had 2107 Flower. yesterday. Flowery so, Branch, Georgia. Everybody he says flower. <laughs> That's what I do. Popular place. It's a popular place. 21.07 yesterday. So let's just see what Rob did today. Uh, I would say if he has a decent sack, he's, he's probably solidified himself. Today. Great job. There's Rob. Let's see what Rob's got. Those are big. 21.07 yesterday, right? All right. He got another big sack today. He's going to make a run at the leader for sure. 17 points. So that's going to put him right about 38, 39 pounds. Yeah. Right there. 17 points. Seven, seven, so he's seven, right there. He's right there. 38. Seven, I think, he's, I I think he might be safe. Unless somebody comes in with a monster sack, right. I think That's he'll be fishing tomorrow. Next, you got Hank Cherry. Hank Cherry, two-time Bassmaster Classic champion right here. The man with the red hat. This continues tomorrow. We're going to see 90-pound right. bags. Of these you know, we days. could. We could. Lincoln, Town, North Carolina. We could. He had 16.04. See if Hank can make a move Hank right here. Prayer this morning. We appreciate him for doing that. Absolutely great guy. Two -time he's, classic champion. he's got some he's rowdy ones. He does. He's definitely done a good job of keeping the He's taking a alive. couple of guys, wrangle them in that bag. That's right. So there you go. Look at that. And kudos to him for putting his money in here and jumping in this tournament right there. Oh, I had a good time. Caught a bunch of fish. Just never caught any big ones all week long. All right, buddy. Well, you but he ain't hurting sure over the no, years. No, he's not. He's caught a big in his time or two. So that was like 15 points. It is solid bag after solid bag. Yeah. So where where's Hank at? So he had six pounds even. Sixteen. So he had sixteen even. yesterday. Sixteen oh four yesterday. Uh -huh. Sixteen today. Those thirty two pounds. Mm -hmm. Consistent. Looks like he's got the Jordans on right there. <laughs> Rocking the Jordans and the red hat. He's by far the most stylish guy that's come through today. Yeah, stylish. Look at that. Got his got everything. Boat number four is next. There you coming go. to the scales. It's boat number four right here. So yeah. Gussie right here. Let's see what Gussie's got. All right. On. Somebody in the comments was, where's Gussie? Oh, I hope you're watching. Here it is. Gussie. Yesterday had five bass that weighed 18.05. How many we got today? Uh, about pretty similar, I think, today. It was uh, it was kind of a grinder, and then I ended up uh, getting one little area this, you go. this afternoon and caught all five. I got like seven pounds at one o'clock. I didn't know what the heck was going on, but um, got five nice ones. So that sounds like a t-shirt. Flirting with the line, kind of a grinder. 
All right. No, I think you're, you might be in good shape. I believe it's 18 points, six foot, 18. All right, so he's four. right there at that 36 job. pounds. Yeah. 18 on both yeah. days. 18 is right. consistent. So right don't get to hold these big old spotted bass up that often. So, yeah, let's get a picture. So let's Great just job, see what buddy. we got. Look at that. Look at the guts on those Look at spots. those awesome on their spots. That is some herring eaters right there. Yeah. Come on, guys. Put your hands together. Great job. And one of the best guys in all of fishing. Today, right how you caught your you fish. Know this next guy uh, I ended up, I caught them all pretty oh, much both yeah. days on a little Z-Man hula stick, Ned Rig bait. And, uh, this uh, is the Ned Rig. Man, all that, probably 50, 50, 60 days fishing on this lake in my life. And that's, I always catch them on that thing. So the different styles simple, that people are fishing is amazing. I, I, that's why I like the spots so much. They're sort of similar. It's a pleasure to get to fish out here. But I believe you might have one more day coming. All right, we'll All see. Right, I guess he makes a cut football. out there. This 12-man 12, 12 cut is going to be interesting. It is going to be. Now, uh, next Paul guy. Jr. We know this guy. Yesterday's weight was Mark's 19.02 Jr. with five bass. Believe Today's he was, weight. He was in the top. We'll get here in just a minute. Have you Good white dog, good sack of fish. What did you have yesterday, a little over 17? Yes, sir, a little over 17, and uh, I finally found one six, five to six pounder with three minutes ago, and I broke her off when she finally bit, so I'm a little mad at her. All right, today's weight. Stand right in here tight. We're looking for an error right there. Oh, we're back up. There's a delay. It'll be about four or five 16. seconds. 16.56. 16.56. Let me Brandon, know when we're back up. Appreciate you, buddy. Good sack. I, I tell you what, I don't I got know sure what it's going to take to make the top 12, but it's going to be a tight, tight okay. race. It's going to be really close. Boat number 11 is next coming to the scales. It's still nothing. 16.456. Paul Driscoll. 
Jefferson, Georgia, he had five bass yesterday. On, weighed 17.35, 17.35 yesterday. You got anything? I'm seeing the black screen. He's got another sack full of them today. Okay. It's showing there. Okay, good. Job, good. All right. So we must be back. We're right. a little bit of technical issues, but so uh, Paul Driscoll's up here. I didn't ever think hard about it. Hey, 17.45. So, Paul. Oh, God, so we got some sat link issues. And, and he's had to stay off the lake for several weeks. Absolutely. Too, so, um, Absolutely. I think we're back up and all. running. So we're back up and running. Guys Kaz has got a 20. Uh, Look at Kaz. Right there. Applause, guys. And let's he's holding up strong uh, run spotted the bass. 12 right there. Great job. So I don't see Becky, but Thank I see you, her sir. friends Great out there. So. Right. Her sisters is there. Well, number 24 is next. Coming All right, so guys, again, we, we, uh, we apologize for any of the linkage issues. We're just Jason doing our Johnson, best. Dawson, Bill, All right, he big Jason. Five fast. We yes, still love it. 18.12. If anybody knows this lake, it's this man, too. He's one of the best. Pounds, Justy. 18 Little yesterday. Over. Not today. Not, Not a bad-looking bag today. No. That's still a good show, and that wind wasn't easy to fish you today, was it? Fishing mostly deep, about 40 to 50 foot. And, uh, See, he fished deep. He was surfing today. That's what he does. Uh, that's an outmare. He, that listen, is an he was surfing. Today's Jason 15. Johnson likes that deep stuff, Thank you, sir. He's got that stuff down. Hey, all you anglers, be sure to go up there and get you some, something to eat. When it goes got back, you've got, there for you got you pros, you've got local in, hammers, make sure you get hammers you yeah. got different techniques well, and different water depths. That's right. That's Everybody's bringing in a quality bag of fish. 100%. Sam Benson, he had five bass yesterday. No forward facing sonar. One of the nicer guys in this tournament right here. Let's see what he's got today. Another solid bag of fish today. Oh, Benson. Come out here and let's see what they I coached the son in football. Yeah, so kind of rooting for him on the backside there, you know, a little bit. See what Sam's got. A little better bag today. 17.87. So 17. that puts him right about that 35, right 36. Oh, man, Guys, this is going to be crazy watching him figure out because I can't, I guarantee you from 12th place to the, to the oh, first few guys out, it's going to be ounces. Super close. Ounces. It's going to be tight. You folks at home just watching, stay with us. We're having blinking Alan issues Norman with this sat link just every now and then. We'll kind of go now? over here in a minute when we can. We're, 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 we're back good now. We're back good now. You got a late start. It's probably the Russians. Yeah. It's probably the Russians. We're getting hacked. Fine young man right here. 10 pounds, 0.07. 10.07. Yeah, so what do you think about the tournament format, Al? I think they 
to start a trail like this. Uh oh, there you go. I think a lot of people there you go. I think it's going to take off. This is not going to be the only one. That's that's several of these anglers, the professional anglers that have come in and saying. What a what a what a uh, joy was it I sure appreciate the same difference as you saved my life on those. And, uh, hey, you're close. You're close, baby. Uh, you're close. So you know, but they, they're, they're sitting there. More than one have said that they like this format. They want to see something like this. Kevin wants to know what Paul had. Paul Jr. I think the sat link went down exactly when Mr. Right. Driscoll was job, going in. Uh, Seventeen you, something. Sir. I think he ends up right about thirty-five. Oh, I, don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that, but he had a good sack of fish. Corey Johnson. Corey Johnson. Now, is this, now this is okay. So this is the brother. Yep. From Canada. 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 Peterborough, Ontario. He Ontario. Has five bass weighs eighteen point one six. He can figure him out. Either. He can figure him out. That's right. Right. a long like way to come countries. down here and get the fish with us. <laughs> like he's showing out. Got another big bag of fish. <laughs> Cowboys and the down. other. And, and ain't nobody know. lives in half it's, of it because it's city it's folks down there. Five right. bass. Let's see what they weigh. Great sack of fish. Twenty point one eight. Twenty point one eight. Is that bigger than gas? Twenty one eight. Let's get your picture made. With Hell, I quit right now. Twenty pound bass today. Maybe the. Don't bet against it. Don't bet against this. Guys, I'm just telling you. Today, actually, you guys like, will be at a later date and be able to compare all the numbers whenever yeah. they get them all posted. Listen, <laughs> is not my guys, Look at that. Canada down here fishing. Yeah, there we go. We got to mix the large mouth and spots right, right there. Fish. Almost the same. I believe you're in the top twelve. Great job. Okay, there you go. Imagine him and his brother get to go at it against each other number 15 is next. i know it oh, yeah. you reckon they're going to share any uh, secrets tonight though like, hey man uh, hey man <laughs> who's going to go where and how are we going to split this channel? we'll get some of that folks right. yeah, yeah. some beer or whatever it is and guys drink up the thing who call, who, who's going to be the one that calls mom James, <laughs> that's right James, we'll said. Five bass yesterday, they, they got plenty of water three. for this time of year to go they do so they, they'll they be do. all right got five in there again today i believe yes sir. Well, I don't know. That's that's not a bad bag of fish. That's going to make a run at that top. Pile. I don't think any of these bags there of fish are bad. There hasn't been. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen something. Well, wind's Maybe. messing with the scales, guys. Yeah, that wind's rocking. Point eight seven. Fourteen point eight seven. We appreciate you. Seven. Thank you. What do you think about hey, the festivities? Don't forget, if you push the turn, yeah, now fun. we got some food over here good. for you. We got pizza. Yeah, go get you, you some pizza. Shirt. Go up there and get you something to eat. I don't know if those Watson didn't eat all that. There may not be no left. James was over there chowing that stuff down. You notice how they kept the pizza table far away they from us. They did keep the pizza. Know? That's right. Certainly quick place. That's right, they did. James Watson. What if we're trying to tell us something? Unofficial James Watson sitting in trouble. 35.38. What the hell did I tell you? What did I tell that's you? Uh, that's why I don't bet you 10 bucks. I told you 36 no pounds. From Jefferson, Georgia with yeah, James 16, Watson's currently 9, in 12th yeah. place at 35.7. I, I kind of lowballed it. You did lowball it. I knew it was going to be a little bit different. So here, here, let's see what we got. Every here. every bag weight in has been respectable today. today. 16 point. But how long does it last? Because the Great Dane is coming up next. Uh, you got a few. You got a meal behind yeah, that. You got a meal. You got the Great yeah. Dane coming up right here. Yeah. Three two sixteen point three Look two. Thank you, sir. Hey, hey right. he, good uses job. he used two hands. He used two hands. Bag up out of that. Two hands, so we'll see. Yeah. Listen, like, look at well, him, number right. seventeen. He Pay looks like attention. Look, he looks like he just walked off of, like fast times at Richmond High. You're anywhere near Spicoli. that top Spicoli Spicoli right We need here. you to hang around. If look you're at that. not going to make the top twelve, and we need to get make sure we get. He's your, just uh, laid back, just whatever. Your cable, your cable, uh, lockout. I know he's got his game face on, but make sure to get so another guy to go with you before you listen, cut that off. Listen, what's the meal had right there? Meal Wagner from Georgia. Yeah, twenty-one point five fast. Look at him right there now. We got five more today. Right? All right. Emil definitely has got his game Five more today. On. Got his Another good sack of fish. This is definitely going to make a run in the top 12. 19 points. Oh, wow. So, yeah. 19 so he's sitting point right there at 40. So Emil's going to be fishing fish tomorrow, tonight. guys. No yeah. doubt about it. Two good days um, back to back. You know, he was a lot of people's choice for a local. Yeah, a lot of people. That, that was the chatter He's I was getting. Been wicked today. You he saw him steady. yesterday. He was now, just like nice and calm and bunch of yeah. spotted bass right here, folks. Um, Man, he stays and in listen, that zone. Look, 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 look what he's holding up. Let's get wow. spotted bass. Let's prove beautiful bass. Look at the size of those. Definitely hair in spots. He's going to be casting tomorrow. Congratulations. That one was as big around as this long. Look at him. He's rocking the flip flops. Mr. Stylish right there. 
Don't he look like seriously though? Like he just walked off he like does. Spagoli? Yeah, that's what he goes like Spagoli. Spagoli there. Well, that's what we're gonna start calling him. What's up, Spagoli? Awesome. Totally awesome. And he's going for pizza. <laughs> and he's going for pizza. <laughs> Maddie Quarters from Canton, Georgia. He had five bass yesterday, weighed fourteen point four one. All right, got five go. more today. How many more we got? How you doing, young man? Four or five more to weigh in. See what they weigh. I think we got four, four left. Four left to weigh in, guys. So, hey, listen, the top 12 is going to be determined here shortly. A little better weight today, 15.8 pounds. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a mix. Another 15-pound bag. Yeah, it's going uh -huh. to be a mix of locals and pros right here. Locals and pros. Mm -hmm. It's going to continue and into that. tomorrow. Well, number two is next. You got Will Looks Fletcher, like we're Andy Morgan. Here, we are right here. This is William and, Fletcher uh, from Dallas, now, Georgia. Now, one of the guys from Canada coming. 20.37. Will He's Fletcher, one Andy Morgan, one of the guys from Canada. Got left, so. yeah, I got you. You now, got another five now William Fletcher today. fishes the NPFL, yeah. and um, he had 20 pounds yesterday. So let's yeah. see what he's got. He said he might not have enough today, but he's got oh, five. That's listen. all you can do. Did you lose any good ones? It's a healthy looking I saw bag. a bunch of good ones. They, they lost me. I didn't lose any. I don't the way he hey, raised that. Really that's close to getting in there. The weight is 15.50. Uh, so that's going to put him out at 30, 35, 36 pounds. Yeah. So yeah. Real close. I do believe he is under Driscoll at that right there. So we got Andy Morgan coming up here, who I watched him on Facebook. He was Andy doing Morgan live, from Dayton, and he was really excited he about driving out here doing this tournament. He's an awesome guy. How many we got today, Andy? He's a big fella. Too. He's got five he's more today. He's about seven, two. All large mouth. <laughs> He can, he can see any he's bed anywhere near yeah, like like he, <laughs> he, he, he's he's he, he's sitting in Baldridge because I think I left Fire and Branch just went on he, bed. He knows how to catch. You know we'd have to stay on the milk crate. <laughs> All right, right he's got five so. bass today. Another good sack of fish. And this is going to be fairly close. I think 17 today's weight is 17 points. This wind is rocking. It is. It is. It's messing a lot of things up. You may not be able to see it, but I mean. 17.35. 17.35. 17 Great job, Andy. Right. Hey, right down there on the TV yeah. screen. It's updated. So he's going to be right at the 35. Place. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of You'll these angles. Find out where you're from at. 35 to 37. Tomorrow's going to come down to ounces, probably, yeah. between all these. And so now we have our leader. This was the day one leader right here at 24. Set was it seven three? Where was he at? No, twenty four seven five. Yeah, Christopher Johnson, right here. Peterborough, Ontario. He had, yeah, he had big fish coming. And he had, he had big yes, fish. He was five bass. Let's see what he's got. Right one here. for big bass. What's currently leading big fish? Seven four nine. Seven four nine. Seven point four nine. Currently leading big fish. That's right, so this. Wow. Eight pounds. Plus one one. Eight point one one. Awesome. So we have a new five, big fish. We got a new five new grand fish, fish here. New five the tournament. Fish. And folks, you got to remember this is no last. Couple. I think he just won. I think he was a big fish of the day. Yeah. About the five thousand dollars. Big fish got off today. Yeah. Eight hundred five thousand dollars fish. fish for big five thousand dollars. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. And we are a big fish runner because you look like the last angler to weigh in. That's going to be worth it. Look, I'd for smile too if I just won five thousand dollars. Fishing for free tomorrow. So. Exactly. Fishing right. for free. Yeah, Listen to the weight today. Another twenty-four pound bag that weighs twenty-four point. Woo! Twenty-four point forty-eight pound, baby. Wow. Now. I definitely can tell you who's uh, who's got a commanding lead right now going into yeah. the final day. Big time. So this man. Uh, Puts him over 49 40, pounds. 48, 49 pounds right yeah. there. So yeah. comfortable lead right there. So two days in a row, 24 plus right pounds. There, Look at folks. that. Woo. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So I definitely want to say sight fishing probably had a little bit to do with that one. Yeah. Yeah. So. Probably so. But okay. So guys, what they're going to do now is they're going to tally up uh, all the weights. Who, uh, Rick Flair, the wrestler, is the, the, uh, huh? he's heard the name. He's heard the name. He's from Blue. <laughs> All right. All right, buddy. That's a Great Canadian. We appreciate Straight up from Canada. Big round of applause right there, guys. All right. So anyway, so now they're gonna tally up, and figure out who's out, uh, who's in the top twelve for tomorrow. I believe that's it. And so, uh, as soon as, as soon as they announce it, we'll see who's gonna be fishing tomorrow. But guys, you just saw the weights right there. I Very think, impressive. I think our guest was pretty good at 36, 37 pounds. Um, going to be interesting to see what 
the twelfth place finisher, the last guy going into tomorrow, weighs his weight is. Uh, it has to be right there, 36, 37 pounds. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's but but 48, 49 pounds going in, you know, with that lead going into the last day. And hell he's been consistent two days in a row. Yeah. You know, so I mean, absolutely amazing. Looks uh, like 12 that places, 36, 36, 5. 36 they're still five. bringing in big bags. 36 we got five. a scrolling total weight uh, in the yeah, back it's of moving. Bill Wagner, I need to see you down here at the stage. Bill Wagner's been summoned to the stage right there, so I don't know what he did. Also, we got uh, a lot of new fishermen your way in down there. We almost lost we our almost camera lost guy. camera guy. Josh just took a hit in the head with his awning. Yeah. And, uh, guys, that's one thing you really can't. You didn't see that on camera, but – uh, we got Josh's van out here, and that, his awning just got totally lifted up yeah. and slammed him into the head. Y'all may not, but you may think, oh, it's just a little breeze. No, this wind's howling. I, I can't help but to laugh. He took a headshot. <laughs> See, all right. Uh, he'll be all right. He'll be okay. It's just his head. <laughs> Probably his pride a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little pride a little bit. So, um, so we think right now, guys, we think right now that 36 5. Uh, and I want to say, from what I saw, it might be Jimmy Millsap. Is that what you saw? Jimmy Millsap? Jimmy, yeah. I think Jimmy was – I don't know. But um, definitely – There's a lot going on. So you got a lot, yeah, lot of things lot. going on. So, right yeah, here. so there's a lot of squirrel, 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 squirrel uh -huh. going. we got wind blowing stuff apart. we got pros yeah. are trying to figure out tomorrow who's going to be the uh, guys riding around. And, um, you know, I'm just telling you right now, though, this just being able to do the weigh-in. Totally awesome to see the quality of fish that Lake Lanier uh, was putting out today. And for anybody that says these guys cannot catch them without the use of uh, live scope, forward face, and sonar. You've been proven You've wrong been proven today. Wrong. Now, granted, now listen, though, you're going to have a lot of naysayers that said, hey, bed fishing, bed fishing. Now, yes. But tomorrow, tomorrow, it's going to be in the 50s. I don't know if the wind's going to stay up. We'll see if that's going to be some wind and uh, three different weather patterns in the three days of this yeah. competition. So, and, and we've we've seen some pictures where guys were still staying offshore fighting that wind, right? And as y'all can see, yeah, yeah, we got microphones, everything blowing everything all over. Blows. I think the awning but took it's off totally, again. It's totally cool. So you know the thing about it is is that you know you even had some people though like Jason Johnson that was uh, he's uh, what do you say he's fishing 40, 50 foot. 40, yeah. 40 yeah, he was out today. fishing offshore. So he, you had he guys was surfing into waves and yeah. So you know we had a little bit of everything so far now. So right now we're kind of in a little bit of a holding pattern where they figure out the uh, top twelve. They're going to be announcing that shortly, and then uh, we'll see what goes on from here. So I think right now again, hey, first time they've done this tournament, they got to figure this out, and uh, we will go. We appreciate all y'all staying with us with our little yeah. technical boo boos. Absolutely. But you know, still, guys, it's been it's been really interesting. Uh, I had a good conversation with James Watson. Got to he get did. him on there like that. <laughs> so you know, my kind of dude right there. So I, you know, um, but is this the first time you covered a weigh in? I did a weigh in show? for a Noe show, like you yeah. know, a couple years ago. But it yeah. wasn't to the quality of anglers like this guy. Yeah. We've got you know? kudos from everybody yeah. that's been watching, even with our yeah. sat link problems. Everybody's yeah, well, like, "This is great." So good. I'm yeah. glad. We're not we bound to anything. We'll yeah. say what we want to. This one's unique just because of the mix of people and. I mean, there's guys bed fishing, not bed fishing, too. So yes. It, yeah. And so, um, and so I do think, uh, here we go, 12th place. So they're getting ready to call it off. So I'm going to call it off as they say All right. It. Hang on, guys. Here's your, here's your they top say 12. It. We're going to see it. And some of these guys are going to have to go take a polygraph test. A lot of guys were asking about that. You know, several of these anglers are going to be pulled aside to go do a polygraph. I don't know if all 12 are, but uh, several of them definitely are. Yeah, it may be random. It could be all of them. I don't know how they're going to do that, but I do know that Alan had talked about uh, having, a, having a polygraph, uh, polygraph for those. Um, but, again, we're, we're, we're waiting on the, uh, we're waiting on the uh, final 12 right now. But I will tell you this. You can't fuss about the talent here, Dre. Here's the official right here. Official way in. 12th place. With 35.53, Jimmy Millsaps. 35.53, Jimmy Millsaps. What did so I tell you? you got to go back I and feel good. the top 12, and you'll be fishing tomorrow. So Jimmy Millsaps, 12. The top 12 to stick around. If you're in the top 12, we need to take your 
we need uh, four observers, but we need to make sure everybody takes their cable guards off. Uh, it's yeah, not so in the top 12. 35.5, though. That's 17.25 average. Uh, it's only going to go like up that. from here. 17.5, <laughs> yeah, somewhere there. So that's good. You so you take your cable guard so we got 12 points. We're still waiting for 11th on down. If you yeah. haven't had any food, we got pizza over here for Jimmy all Jimmy Millsap, so is a, he's a legend in the North Georgia area. Certainly. Uh, they, got a lot, they got a lot of housekeeping. We don't get pizza. Sure you take your cable guard uh, I'm going to protest. Yeah. We'll bring our own pizza to Yeah. Fat boys have a buffet out here tomorrow. There's there's a good barbecue joint up the hill. You you right. I, I got a sack of pork skins in the truck. We can <laughs> I got, listen, I got an overheated thing of a uh, of a uh, sausage in the slim gym. There you it go. It was on the ground a little while ago. So oh, it's cooked good now. It's cooked it, if you like that stuff. So stay around, folks. They got a lot of housekeeping issues yeah, trying to get everybody sorted that. out. But and we're yeah. gonna see if we can grab an interview or two with some of these guys. Oh if yeah, possible. Snatch so, them up. So anyway, like I said, right now, right now, they've announced 12th place. One of the things, a lot of people want to know how they were doing the transducers. They locked the, they locked it, they locked the cables, and so they're having to uh, take all those locks and everything. I think pretty much we almost can read that if that's official. Um, it looks like 11th place is. Hey, Josh, scoot to the uh, see, So, 11th place is William Fletcher. 10th place is Jeff Gustafson. Gustafson. I always screw his dad. Gus got, uh, Gussie. Yeah, Kaz, yeah, Gussie. Ten. Just Gussie. Did Kaz get 10th? Oh, Coswell's fishing. Uh-oh. There we go. So, all right, it's scrolling right now, guys. We're going to wait yeah. till it comes back up. Scrolls through the whole we got to wait on it to make a, right, make a lap. Over, so. uh, about time to adjust the I'm boats. just glad you can see it from your angle. I got a camera sitting right here. Yeah, well, I had it, and then that gentleman parked right, it parked right in front of me. Yeah. I, I, I yell them out. Okay. Can you yell them out? All right, so we're going to start. We're going to try to do it our way. But... <coughs> hey, Josh. Hold on a second. Josh, get him to scoot over. Him. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was like All right, so now we're getting ready. Okay. So, um. Here we go. So now it ought to, it ought to scroll back. So I think these are the official weights. Did you bring your glasses for this? Yeah, one? number one. Yeah, so you got Johnston, Cook, Drew Cook, Littner, Wagner, David Williams, Safuentes, Rob Jordan, uh, Corey Johnston, Kaz Anderson, Gussie, William Fletcher, and Jimmy Millsaps. Yep. But I think I nailed that right there. Yeah, you nailed it. So again, so with that group right there, you got both the Johnson brothers in it. Gussie, Cook, got some big names there. Got the local hammers in there, Jordan, yep. Emil, and uh Will Kaz there be Anderson. anywhere that they can uh, see this online? Okay, so online as far as the uh, uh the results. You can Steve go Steve on. Will there be somewhere that we can see all the weights? Is what so he was asking. I would say that if you go to Touring Anglers Association.com, the TAA.com. Uh, you should be. They'll have that posted. Yeah, give them a few hours. They did it Sometime yesterday. post production and, uh, and all, it'll all be posted. Yeah. With, with everything going on, just give them a few hours and they'll have the total weights all the way through Guys, I think we need the about whole field. Three more co now. Three more co they don't want me riding on a boat with anybody. Really hopefully, hopefully tomorrow the wind will die down. I hope the wind does. I don't even know it's where getting worse it is right getting worse right now. The, the stage is falling apart. <laughs> Folks, it was this way when we were trying to get all this equipment set up, and thank God it tuned down for a little bit. Yeah, the so way all I can going, tell you is it's this. back. Let me tell you this: this is just for me personally. That regardless of how this ends up, this has been a success. It has. It has been exciting. It's been you know we're all sitting here watching the guys bring it in. No drama with technology. It's just these guys went out, they fished, and it is what it is. And twelve of them are going to go fishing tomorrow for sixty-seven. What do you say, sixty-seven thousand dollars? Yeah. And then thirty and twenty-five for third place and second place, respectively. So. And no matter what side of the fence you were on, you just saw it. Absolutely. So. Pro or pro or local guy. All right. So they're getting ready to line up the top twelve. Take the oh, Emil got popped for poly. Wow. Wow. Rob Jordan, Corey Johnston. Emil got popped for the poly. Chaz Anderson, Jeff Gutson. <laughs> I'm going to rag him a little bit. William so, Fletcher and Jimmy Millsaps come right down here. What, 
That's a fair of the size for just a minute, guys. Hey, Josh, let's make sure we get a picture of all these guys right here on camera. Flip it over to the, flip it over to the, make sure we got it. It's yeah. on there. Okay, he's on there. Yeah. Make sure we get this it's, motley it's crew of anglers right here. Um, Your top 12 are all being called up for a meeting. Yeah, so the Johnson boys right there. So um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I want to grab. I want to see if we can grab a guy or two. And we're going to do our best to see if we can get you guys a couple interviews just to see what was going on out there. And uh, 630 in the morning, so. I think Let's see. You want, who you want to try to grab? If you already, uh, if you don't have, you definitely, definitely we can grab Kaz. We'll, we'll grab Kaz, uh, yeah, for sure. Let's see if we get Drew Cook. We have a couple of them. All's well. We're going to see what we can do right here. So This is pretty exclusive territory. The first top 12 in the TAA history. Well, we got to be questions. Tomorrow we'll so, come the way. Oh, you, sir. Brooks, yeah, jump yeah. in there, Brooks, for a second. Have a seat right sit here. Down. We we got, get to that sit down. Sit down. We got Brooks Anderson here, local angler. has been on the podcast a couple of times and fished it. So, buddy, tell me how it went today. Man, it, it was a little bit tough this week, but it was still a pretty good tournament and caught some good ones for sure. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, the thing the thing I noticed that I liked about it, you got to rub elbows with some pros and you had your local guys that you know that went in there. So, Tell me a little bit, you know, from yesterday to today, how the lake changed at all, or if it did at all with you. Uh, definitely there's a lot of bed fishing play right now, and the spot fishing's a little bit off and not having live skip. That's obviously something that's going to kind of change everything. Yeah. But I think the wind today hurt a lot of those people that caught them really good yesterday, and you see kind of like the Mill Wagner, so the consistent people that were really able to step up and kind of produce the same kind of bag. Yeah, so what were you targeting? Uh, I was targeting spawning spots, and I had 17 yesterday and a little bit shy of 16 today, but had a lot of fish, just couldn't ever get those really good bites going. I got you. I got you. But still, all right, you've gone through the format now. you fish this tournament. What do you think? It's it's a blast. I love kind of all the new twists to it, the no live scope and no practice. That's something that really kind of appeals to me, but looking forward to jumping in a few of the next ones for sure. Well, absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what. I said this at the beginning of the broadcast. I'm proud of you younger guys. Everybody says can't catch fish without forward-facing sonar for having the moxie to jump yeah. into a tournament like that. No, man. it's definitely a little bit different, but I fished my whole life without it. It's kind of cool to get back to my roots. I like it, dude. I didn't listen. Hey, you got here? All right, so I'm going to get Mr. Fuentes, Fuentes on. Yeah. Hey. All right, we got the cowboy here, Joey Fuentes. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. How you doing? Good. Danny Fish, North Georgia. Glad you come down here to our lake and uh, – yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Everybody so, hear me out there in yeah. the interwebs. <laughs> yeah. So I tell you what, I was in Gatlinburg yesterday and I was following you on your Facebook page and everything. Yeah. Now, yesterday you had the flip flops on the day when I looked at you, you was bundled up a little bit. Yes. The weather took a major turn Yeah, it did. <laughs> and it got colder as the day went on, you know, and the wind got bad, uh, but it was, it was fun. Had fun. So what do you think about Lake Lanier? I love it. I've only fished this 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 place one other time and caught the biggest spot of bass in my life. Um, caught just under 21 pounds a day of spots. I mean, how good is that? We, back home, we only catch two and a half pounders pretty much. So yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> it's pretty cool. For sure. Yeah. Now, today, we had to talk about it. You were pulling the old bald and chain for a little while. Yes, sir. Pulled out the Carolina rig. Yeah, man. It got windy. Um, and you were throwing a jerk bait when I watched you earlier on my way. Yeah, out. I was just trying something else, but... Uh, you know, I that just felt right because the, I caught a couple of fish per, uh, first thing in the morning um, on my spinning rod, and then it got so windy I just needed to throw something heavier, and and you know it just worked out, and they were eating it. Okay, so tomorrow weather's coming in as far as temperature wise, it's going to be a lot colder. Is that going to change your approach? Negative. Negative. I'll <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, be all right. That's, that's it. Well, I, I tell you what. How, and my last question is: How hard is it to be the best looking guy in this group fishing tomorrow? Um, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot, takes of, work. A lot of work. You pull it off somehow. <laughs> so, but uh, I want to say thank you for putting it out on your page because yeah, that way, yeah. you know, if we can ever get this tournament up to where they can have live stream for everybody, you know, that'd be one thing. But you at least put it out there, and a lot of guys were watching you. Yeah. You know, 
over the past couple of days. Are you going to do that again tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. I I figure, you know, like uh, to me, I love I love doing that and talking and teaching people whatever. Show, tell them what I do. It does. It don't mind me. I just I just hope that nobody pulls in and fishes some of the stuff I did. Right. You know, tomorrow. But I I expect everybody to respect that. But no, it was it was a blast, man. I I um uh, I'm going to be live tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna do the same thing and hopefully we can catch some fish. Yeah. Tell everybody where they can find you just in case. Yeah. If you want to follow me on all my socials, it's at Joe. Joey C. Fuentes Fishing, um, and it's on everything, YouTube, the Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you. Yep. Good luck tomorrow, and uh, thank you for putting it out there. I, was, I enjoyed why I stuck in Gatlinburg, man. I had nothing to do. I at least got the word. No, it was a blast. So, it was thank you for watching. Best of luck tomorrow. All right, guys, so who you got next for me? Drew Cook. All right. Come right over here. All right, so we got Drew Cook. I'm gonna help you with this one. You're gonna help me, all right? Yeah, yeah cause cause this is this is the best sight fisherman in the world. Right here. So listen, all I've heard, honestly, is your name out of this guy's mouth. So you might have a stalker right yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> we're <laughs> keep I, I bought the him. same pair of sunglasses he, he got did. last night he, after I saw him. He so. said, "What'd you say? It cost you about two hundred bucks? You know, about one eighty seven ish." But I didn't care. All right, best well, rifle scope I ever had. Now, seeing how he's the things I learned from him just yeah. from different videos, sight fishing. Uh, I, I better get the right thing. Yeah, so he says you're the best he's ever seen at it. So, how much of that came into play with you? I said every one of them I've caught. I, well, I caught. I waited in one yesterday that it was on a bed, but I didn't sight fish for it. I, I just knew it was there and threw at it. But right. every one of them I've watched eat it. So, how much experience do you have on one there? Prior, uh, prior to this tournament, I fished her one time. One time. All right, and then you know, I'm sure you had a game plan coming in. Has it gone according to the game plan, or have you had to make adjustments? Um, no, I mean, the game plan was kind of just roll with it, you know? Yeah. We, hey guys, if you our four-hour ride right around, I started just down from here, look in a pocket, you know, see some fish, and I just went every two miles looking in pockets until I got to where I wasn't seeing fish on bed and then turned around. That was the section of the lake that I was going to fish. I got you right there. So uh, what do you think about this format, this tournament, and how we're doing it? I like it. it uh, it's been fun. Um you know, for us, whenever we're going to normal tournaments, I mean, it's a whole really week and a half. You got to yeah. drive there. You get three days of practice then four days of tournament and drive home. So I like getting here. I mean, I, I left my house Monday morning and, and drove straight here, went out for four hours. And yeah. What'd you think about that? Being able to go out and just ride around. That's a little bit different than what you guys normally do. Yeah, I uh, I didn't. For this one, I didn't mind it at all. Yeah. Um, if it wasn't a sight fishing tournament, it'd probably be a little a little different. But because it was a sight fishing tournament, that's all I was going to do anyway. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So weather's going to uh, cool off tonight. Um, any change in plans tomorrow that you might see? You're just going to stick with it. Oh yeah, they're already up there. They're, they're there. Yeah. You know what's funny is I just he fished it Saturday. I fished it the week before. There was nothing there. Yeah. There was, it's like all of a sudden you guys it just timed out perfectly for you guys. I hit it. I mean to a t perfect because they're i mean literally laying everywhere i got I looked you. at hundreds of bass today did you really yeah hundreds. Right, there you go so you got any questions for your idol before i let him go i know no, he's gotta be ready no, i just i'm, I'm just telling everybody right now if you want to learn how to fish this lake over the next few weeks go look up every one of his videos he's the man and um just study it close I yeah. mean, watch I, it close. and I, i've been running a camera so i'll have a, a, you, a, you, a youtube laughing? youtube video okay um from this on the cut line and it will probably just be a bunch of hook sets and fish catches. That's but. okay. For somebody that doesn't know, shout out your socials. Real yeah. Quick. So my social is drew cook fishing, uh, on Instagram, Facebook and everything else. And then YouTube is the cut line. Uh, we've got a video series we've been doing for about five years now. So, uh, you get a chance to check it out and do the like and subscribe and all that there stuff. You go, the like and subscribe. <laughs> I got that. So buddy, I tell you what, I appreciate you giving us a few minutes. Thank Best you. of luck. And, uh, We'll be sitting out here tomorrow, and hopefully you bring it home. We'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, buddy. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I got a few more. Uh, we, got, we got another one right here, so we're going to see if we can get a few more. Oh, goodness. The mystery man. The mystery man. Sit down. And did you hear what happened? Oh, I didn't hear it yet. Tell yes. me. So I'm looking. Alan gives me the list of all these anglers, and I'm going through. And I'm trying to find something on every one of them. Yeah. And I said, Alan, I got me. I said, listen, no lie. I said, who the hell is Anderson Co Coswell? He had it that way. I said, I have looked everywhere in the world for yeah. this guy because that's Cass. And I went, 
Like something that. with the bank. I and it's one of my best buddy's sister that like sent her so we gotta have a serious talk because like my name has no S in it. Yeah. And like I don't know. My name is Caswell. Yeah. But they reversed it completely. I don't know. It's like yeah. birth certificate <laughs> type stuff. I, I thought it was the last name and I was yeah. like, I've never heard of this cat before in my life. And he says Caz. I'm yeah. like And I told uh, them yesterday to change my name over there and they still ain't. They still right. right. <laughs> so anyway, all right, tell us about out on the water today. What'd you see? Man, I don't know really what to expect tomorrow, but I know yesterday I messed up bad, had to rebound today. I figured if I caught 20 pounds, I might ha have a chance at making it. Yeah. It was just a little bit tougher today. I didn't catch near as many. Yesterday I tried the sight fishing game, largemouth. I caught all of them that I had marked, and I wasn't expecting the weights to be like this good for good this tournament, night. to be I'm honest. I'm telling you, like the no li scope or no live scope. Yeah. If a guy knows how to catch a bass, he knows how to catch a bass. That's right. And it just, it just, it's very prevalent here. I mean, the largemouth have been insane, but I tried to get that done yesterday, and I just didn't find as much in the right around. I, I caught you. a four pounder that I planned on starting on, started on it, caught it on the first flip. It was a stupid one. And then I went down through there and caught a bunch more that were just like two, two and a half pounds. Right. And then ended up having to cull everything except that first one I started on yesterday doing what I did today. I caught all my weight yesterday except for one fish in like the last 30 minutes. Really? Yes. So like, and just like scrambled and both days I've made it in with just a little bit of time. And I figured today I had to do what I, what I found yesterday all day long and fish good stuff, big fish places where you know they live. And I'm telling you, it's, it's tough because like, I usually zoom through areas and can you get do. three times as many places. But, like, today I just didn't – you had to just know that they were there because I can't see them. You right, know, like, yeah. I'm just sitting there just casting and hoping that one bites it eventually. And I don't know. It just seems like I try to envision where one would be if I have my live scope and then throw it there. That's <laughs> right. Well, that's, <laughs> I guess, I guess it's, that's what I was going to say. How much has previous experience yeah, on the lake helped you? A lot this week. I mean, it's – if I hadn't fished here in the past and just the last, the last few months of being here, just the, the place that I caught some on today is where a few years ago, I captained some kids in a high school tournament and they caught them and it was the exact same day. So I'm just kind of going off history and, yeah. and hope, and the weather's lining up to be, you know, I mean, they're still catching some giant bags they are. fishing, but I mean, I tomorrow's going to be different. It's going to be cold and that should help me. So we'll see if I can get five more bites off, the stuff that I want to fish, I hopefully can replicate it and just move up, man. It's, this yeah. tournament's awesome. It, is it, it not? What do you think about the format? Man, I love it. It's, it's really cool. There needs to be something like this, something that everybody, you know, this is definitely a lot of people that haven't fished tournaments in a long time have came out of retirement to fish this because it's what they want to do, and I think it's really cool. Absolutely. So, I mean, and it's the payout. Let's talk about that. I mean, that this is unbelievable. Uh -huh. It you is. Know? I mean, and this is going to keep growing. Alan and the guys have done a killer job with it, and I've had a blast. So Everything's you, ran smooth. Yeah. So, so you're going blast. hunting for Becky tomorrow. Five Becky. Five yeah. Becky. We need yeah. five great big ones. So, <laughs> I've been looking for Becky. I seen a couple Becky's. Some guy out there. on the dock said this morning. He goes, "Cash, catch five Becky's." I'm like, "This is stuck, and it's not good." So, <laughs> <laughs> you're never going to live that down yeah. right there. So, yeah. um, but, where'd you end up in the in the twelve? Where where are you at? Nah. Not you got a little ground to make up. A little ground to make up. Yeah. But, but so. you know, since since you are friends of us, yep. we're gonna be rooting hard for you guys I tomorrow, especially it. you. And uh hey, listen, you're going home with a check. That's right. You going so that you got means, our entry fee back. Got you, so yep. that means you gotta buy dinner next time you're on the podcast. That's right. We're straight profit. Now, so. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. Buddy, I appreciate you. Absolutely. I appreciate we'll see you. what we can do. All right. So is that so is that it? That's all, all right. our Guys, I'm gonna see if we can steal. Hey, Alan hey, real quick. you guys have created one of the best looking anglers out there. Just to let you know, he is. Just to let you hey, know. Hey, there's the man. Let's grab Alan. him. I wasn't gonna say that. I wasn't gonna say that, but it's evident. It's evident. We know where he gets his looks from. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Alan. How are you doing, baby? Dude, I'm tickled shitless. I am too, man. That's the only way to say it. <laughs> hey, are you are you seeing all these superstars running around? I man? am, and, and I'm telling you what. You know, you know me. I don't watch a lot of pro fishing. I have been absolutely just glued to what's happening here and what you're doing, what you've created, and just listening to the comments from the guys. There is a need for this. There is a desire for this. You you know, and again, and I've made it clear. I've made it clear to everybody that's watching. You're not anti-forward-facing sonar. Mm -hmm. This is not a protest tournament. It's just a pot tournament, and 
dude, it's going. It is going. You know, it's special, Danny. I don't know what to say. I've had a lot of ideas in my life, and I, I said this, most of them didn't work. And this isn't over. This is day three of phase one. That's right. You know, that's what this is. And uh, we're going to we're gonna try to finish strong. And, uh, again, I've laid out the roadmap before we started exactly what's going to happen. First, we're going to have our first tournament. We're going to have fun. Check. Let me tell you something. There, there, there's something you, – you know, uh, Seth Godin says it all the time. He says, uh, he says, you believe some of what you hear – more of what you see and all of what you tell yourself, I'm going to tell you something. People are telling themselves, this is fishing. Yeah. This is old-fashioned fishing. We're having fun. People came and fished a major tournament, and they got beat. I'll join that crowd. They're going back home after three days. That's right. When we go out of town, it's seven, eight days. Let me tell you something. That's not fun. Um, so I, I don't even know what to say except for we're going to have one more day. Yeah. And I'm going to go back home, and I'm going to go to work. And we're going to make the next one bigger and better. And there's a lot of ideas. Everybody's got a lot of ideas. And I'm going to, I'm inspired. And we're going to, we're going to try to uh, take this thing on the road. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, like, I'm proud just to, just, to, you know, gotten to know you during this whole thing and, and see your idea finally come to fruition. And then, but the best thing about it, you know, our comments, as Tim was reading them, everybody was enjoying it. And the anglers seemed to enjoy it. That was the big thing I took away from the anglers enjoyed this tournament. I'm gonna tell you something, brother. I've been I've been all over the country with all these guys, and and this is what I envisioned. I said, weigh and stay, right? Have a little pizza over here. What happens in in a, in a major tournament trail is you walk across the stage and you leave, and you weigh your fish and you go back and you form a little clique or your travel buddy. You hang out, dude. This was a crowd. I'm telling you, this was bigger than an elite crowd. Gangs was very proud of themselves. The local guys. Uh, but yeah, we had fun and, uh, we're the backup quarterback right now. That's okay. You know, the, no, I'm just saying that, but you but, know, the backup quarterback is always everybody's favorite player yeah, on the team. That's right. The most oh, popular most guy. Popular All we got to do is not throw a pick baby. And, 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 uh, we're going to work, Danny. That's we're going it. to work. Baby. You listen, you're doing it, man. Yeah. I wish I, like I said, I hate to say it this way. Tickle shitless is the only yeah, way I can I, say it. I, I like that's it. That's the old country boy way of saying no, it like right it, there. Baby. And, uh, we're going to be here tomorrow. We Thank get to you. see you give away some money. And tomorrow's going to be even more exciting than today. It, it is. And and you look at that top 12. We got Kaz in there. Yeah. We got Mr. Milk, Jimmy. Yep. Now, Jimmy, I don't know where Jimmy's at. I hope a bunch of Jimmy folks are watching because there's a lot of local folks watching this. Jimmy, ooh, and all and all. I don't know that I can get in it. Yeah. I ain't I got the you money, saying that. Blah, blah, blah. Now he's going to be happy he ponied up. Yeah. Took a half day off the casino. That's and, right. Left the that, casino for a while. That's right. But yeah. he gambled and he won. He gambled and he won. Great fisherman. Great friend of mine. So I haven't even looked at it. I know you got a lot of elite guys. Chris Johnson, first time he's been on the lake dominating. Dude. And uh, first time he's ever been here. Called Dude. me and says, hey, I got to have some practice next time. I'm, so I'm just hey. asking him, you really want some practice next time, Bob? Yeah, he dropped 24 two days in a row. <laughs> yeah. $5,000 big fish. You yeah. Know, yeah. Fishing for profit tomorrow. That's right. And I think him and his brother split it. I think that's their deal. I think they're, oh, I think they're a team. I think that's that, how they roll. That's it. Well, I tell you what, listen, from the moment we talk to today, it has been just absolutely a blast. I'm glad it's kicking off. I cannot wait to be here tomorrow. Awesome. And, dude, I cannot wait to see where you take this from here. Let me tell you something. We're going to work. I've got. I've got uh, the best work family in the history you of the world. Let me tell you something. Oh, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. Talk. What's this I hear about primary colors? I uh, listen. Now, I heard listen like listen. Like no, I heard you yeah. like purple. You don't like purple. I don't do none of that stuff. So, I just that, that's just from your no, work family. No, I was just told no, to ask you a little bit no, about that. You so know? so my work family knows a couple of things. I can't talk. Yeah. I can't spell. And so they got it. They got to double check behind me. Yeah. If they bring anything in with like mobs or anything like that, <laughs> it just don't work. I had the eight crayon box. My dad gave me whatever that was, and that's it. If they're not in that, I don't want it. I don't want to mess I, with I it. I believe I was told by a uh, certain young lady about the crayons like yep. that. You are you're pretty pretty bland when it comes to your colors. Yeah. But, but you know what? You kicked ass today, baby. I appreciate this is it, awesome. Thank you this guys is very awesome. much. We're going to be here. We'll do it again. We'll talk to you tomorrow after it's all over with. I can't wait. Go go rub elbows. Thank you, baby. All right, guys. So, so there you go. Day two, the cut. So uh, tomorrow we'll be back at the same time, 2.30.
Uh, we'll do kind of something similar to what we did today, get you guys uh take on it, and we're going to see who's going to walk away with the first ever Turing Anglers Association pot tournament. And uh, guys, listen, it is just – it's the top 12, it's a hell of a group. It is a hell of a group. 48, 49 pounds is in the lead. 35 pounds got in. Um, they got some work to do. It's good mix. Good mix. The weather's going to be different tomorrow. And so that's going to be that's going to be what I think might flip a little, just to see how these guys mix. Well, three different weather patterns. Three different three weather different patterns. Days. And you know what? Nobody can complain about technology. Absolutely. The guys went out there and fished. So, guys, we appreciate you joining us today. Hey, make sure you tune in. Same place tomorrow at two thirty. We're going to bring you the final day. And we're going to see who walks away with a yep. big old wad of cash and a nice trophy. So, if you, if you want your kids to have autographs, these guys are sitting there talking, fishing with yeah. them and everything else. So, so yeah, yeah come bring, on bring, out, bring them out tomorrow if you great can. Great guys, yeah, great guys. And uh, they'll, they they hang around, and talk to kids all day long. And that's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. It's a good group. All right, guys, you enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you same time tomorrow.